Hello, party people. If you are just joining us, we've got another maybe 30 minutes on the clock before uh, Queeb joins us for the evening. So get your snacks, get your drinks, get your bevs. Oh, it might be a long one, so get ready. JSC fan, I only recognized one of those words, so please hold while I do a Google. You get to hear me typing, just deal with it. I'm too lazy to hit the uh, mute button. Brilliant. So it's like a little chocolate brownie with uh, it looks like little candy sprinkle bits. Uh, 
And nutty buddies, dude. Dude, nutty buddies, like, mm-hmm. I have a question about how you eat the nutty buddies. Do you bite into them? Or do you split them along the wafer and each eat each wafer individually? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, that is correct. That is the correct answer. Um, I actually had to go to Google. Uh, let me go back. I saw a bunch of... Hold on, I gotta take the sound out of my ear. It's like such an echo. Um, I see like a lot of home-based recipes for it, which which look great, but then uh, the Little Debbie cos uh, Cosmic Brownie Box, that reminded me. I do know Pib. Pib is great. It's actually kind of hard to find out here in LA County, which is weird. Um, places have it, but they don't have it as well stocked. Like, you, you have to go on a hunt. So I generally, if I'm getting uh, my my preem fix, then I just go with straight Dr. Pepper. And, you know, I just kind of have to deal with it. Let's see, uh, our snackies today, uh, we just ate a palmier, like one of those big palmiers. Uh, Zoe and I shared it and then Queeb stole some of that and ate it. Uh, what else? Drinking a regular Coke. And uh, tonight we're, actually in a couple of hours, I'm gonna make some roasted vegetables for uh, Queeb to kind of snack on, on his breaks. Z Raven, he is taking a shower right now. He, eh, if he's not on at four, he'll be on like like slightly after. Like he's literally in the shower right now. But no, we're super close. Uh, he's feeling good. Might actually be a really long night, so uh, get ready, be prepared. What big red is i'm from texas like that's huge out there i'm not a fan of it but i'm i'm pretty juvenile when it comes to flavors and tastes and i'm only just now adventuring out to stuff like you know mayonnaise and whatnot D Raven, yeah, we're doing great. Uh, definitely stop by later on, get some good stuff, and uh, we'll see you then. Cash stack them. That happened uh, to me. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I have no concept of time since this subathon started. I opened up one of RN Gamer's links in a different window, and I thought I closed it, but I guess I didn't. So whenever I shut my laptop to hook it up to my monitor um it restarted the video so i kept hearing this voice talking and i legit thought i was going crazy i couldn't find where the sound like the sound was coming from my laptop but i checked all my tabs and nothing was open it wasn't a tab it was just in a tab that had been moved off the screen so I literally like i just heard someone ranting over and over again about twitch and i'm just like what the hell i'm not watching twitch what JSC fan. Yeah, um, I'm from North Texas, and so out there, uh, essentially the, the only real, like, Coke there is, which we call everything Coke, we had Coke, obviously, uh, Dr. Pepper and Big Red, and those were huge. And then kind of like a, an import over from the more southern states was RC Cola, which that's actually my favorite soda, um, probably because I don't get that much of it. It's kind of like a, a rare treat, so I I kind of like the taste, and it also kind of tastes like, you know, 
it, it's a it's a very comforting taste. It's like, oh yeah, I, I remember like sitting at at Crystal's house in the garage and her her mom giving us an RC cola from the garage fridge, you know. JSC fan, where in uh, Texas are you originally from? By the way, guys, um, don't mind the ambient noise. I'm on my phone calling into the Discord panel, which is that, what is that? What are directions? Left side of the screen that you're looking at, or, you know, you did have up. Um, so it does sound tinny, plus I have a fan going, I have Zoe's TV program going, and the washer's going, so. Forgive me while I be a housewife for a little while. know that they they had it outside of texas for serious like ho hold on hold on we're, we're doing a google Why is there a big red soda shortage? I had no idea. Okay, so... Because it's owned by Dr. Pepper, now it's available usually anywhere Dr. Pepper sold. But that's a lie, because it's not. And I know this because I go on hunts to look for my beloved RC Cola and I'm looking at everything while I'm there. Yes, let me check. What I normally have to do, JSC, um, Queeb has an addiction to a couple of very particular flavors of Red Bull, so I normally have to order them from Amazon. Um, as someone in here called it a uh, Daddy Bezos. Well, that, that's not bad at all. A 12-pack is $24.99. That's not bad at all. <laughs> um, or you can get a 24-pack for $28. That, that's a little bit better, but kind of, kind of expensive, not gonna lie. How much is shipping on that? Oh, it's free shipping. Well. Oh, Jesse, you could get some as soon as tomorrow. For $25 for 12. <laughs> that is outrageous. Oh my god. Yeah, seriously, like any of the drinks um, that Queeb is very particular about what he drinks, like he'll literally drink and eat the same thing over and over and over again until he's completely done with it and then he never wants to see it again. Which means that right now I'm living in yellow Red Bull and white Red Bull ginger beer and, and Virgil's root beer territory and he won't drink anything else. Um, what I have had to do is I almost always rely on, um, I'll just go straight to Amazon, you know, free shipping and, and I can actually, I know when it will get here. Um, I used to order those big huge flats of, uh, what was the red one? cranberry of the cranberry ones and then they um they discontinued it but yeah definitely check them out they are a little more expensive but uh it's more reliable shipping wise why it's so loud with the planes uh what was i gonna say oh so the other night when we had coke syrup apocalypse or whatever we want to call it 
uh, I looked at three or four of them because it was interesting. I wanted to see how much they were and I was giving links to Queeb in chat. So now Amazon thinks that I really want it. So it keeps showing me those links every time I log in. I'm like, no, I don't want it. I'm good. Thank you though. But it's like, no, 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 no. Are you sure you don't want this Coke syrup? Because it's like literally right here, bro. We can give it to you. If you are just joining us, we have another maybe eh, 15 to 20 minutes before Queeb joins us. He's fussy and wants to look good for you, what can I say? Uh, so yeah, go potty, get your snacks. Um, maybe fluff the clothes in the dryer that you've left there forever. Like seriously, fold your damn laundry and uh, Queeb should be here in a bit.
I don't want to say your name out loud because I have a tendency to mess up stuff and I, I will curse. But hi, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but then again, I'm having Wi-Fi issues. Thank you.
Looks like we got just a couple more minutes. Queeb is setting up. And uh, then we'll have a little bit of chatty chatty and then we'll get on to some gameplay. X then Y, thank you so so much for resubbing for ten months. That is uh, that is amazing. Thank you so much. I'm sure Queeb appreciates. It. I definitely appreciate it because you're helping my husband. <laughs> he says he does. We uh, we definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much. up dork how you doing uh queeb should be in there in literally just a couple of minutes he's grooming you know how it is he's looking good for you guys Most excellent. Definitely get some snackies. Uh, he's feeling good. He he's alert. His eyes are clear. Uh, it might be a long night, so definitely get some snacks.
I am not the person to explain that. That would be Queeb. But from my understanding, he can go 48 hours before he has to refresh it. So the stream would only be down for just a little bit. Contra, what's up? Yeah, uh, your summoning spell will work. He is literally about to get in front of the camera. I'm actually, uh, let me go say bye since I'm not going to get to see him in person for a bit. And uh, you guys will see him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, welcome to uh, center stage. Uh, we got a new lady joining us tonight. Um, please get out your dollar bills, definitely, uh, and say hello to this uh, lovely lady. We have McQueeb. Hello, lovely lady. <laughs> hello. <laughs> up everybody hello we missed you oh yeah yeah <laughs> apparently hello everyone what's going on you know what it's been super quiet today everyone's been very nice very well behaved uh, we had a 
a little combo about snacks earlier, so that was cool. What's up, Contra just, Connor? Hello. It was just very, you know, it, it's a very chill day. You know what I mean? Everyone's ready for a very chill stream. It's Monday. Oh, God, it is. Yeah. Happy Monday, you guys. I do like that frog with the heart, but uh, the one thing I like better than the frog with the heart is the uh, frog with the cowboy hat. Yeehaw. We think babies and jammies are cute, but when a child is born with no toes, we call it a deformity. Really? Uh, yeah, I guess that's, uh, I guess that's true. Yeah, sure. Monday's just done. Well, it will be for some people. Some people are from the future, Rake. Hello, Malarthy. Hello, welcome. Heck off. <laughs> Oh my god. Um I just had a brain fart. Shut. That was nice that we got to enjoy nice, cool breeze for all of, I don't know, eight minutes. Sometimes a dog likes barking at things. So Miss Queep's going she to the shop tomorrow. And she yes, asked me what right. I would like, and I always say, surprise me, because I can never surprise think me. about anything on the spot. Um, Bring me back something good. Now, give, me, give me the name of some, like, American candies that I might enjoy that I might not have had before. It's pretty vague. Mm. I don't know. I mean, you don't seem to like the ones that we keep around the house, which are sweet tarts. Um, I still have leftover chicks, ducks, and bunnies from Easter. The strawberry bonbons that we were talking about in chat a few weeks ago. Uh, the rolls of Smarties. What's mm, the Skittles? Yeah, no, I like the the colored candies, but we, I mean we've got the the little ducks. I think I like them, but we yeah, we've got a good. we've got a jar of them already, so we don't need any more. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm maybe pose it to chat, list some American well, candies. Sweetheart, sweetheart, I'm telling chat what we already have. Don't get sassy. Um, what else do we have in there? You're in the process of mowing through a bag of Skittles. We've done sour Skittles. Um, I was going to get you another bag of the um, black licorice and some more of those lemon lemon things. Oh yeah. I forget what they're called. Uh, Malarthy says miniature Butterfingers. That's a good question. Do you like Butterfinger? Mm. It's I have the same relationship with Butterfingers that I do with the Dime Bar. The Dime um, Bar. It's like the the toffee crunch type thing. It's it's not bad, but it's definitely not my go-to. Too much chocolate, maybe I don't know. Okay. Well, I think see if you can find black licorice at the local farmers market. I forget what brand I get. It, honestly, out here, I only see like one, one kind of black licorice, but maybe um, there's like a Whole Foods or a, a Sprouts or something in that area. Maybe I'll like go by there and see what kind of candy that they have. Take fives are my fave. I really like Sixlets. They're low quality chocolate, but I like them for some reason. Sixlets are really good. Like you have to be in a mood to eat them, but they're super good. I feel the same way about Whoppers. 
What's a, a sixlet? A sixlet, it's it's a tiny little ball. So like think of a ball that's maybe half or even a third of the size of a whopper. Wait, which one's a whopper? Is that the little the, mal the malted chocolate balls? It's like Maltesers, but not as good. I think I know what I know I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the sixlets um is like pretty near chocolate and the shell is very crispy. Goji so berries. Okay. Aren't they like fruit? Oh, maybe they're talking about chocolate covered goji berries. Um, maybe that maybe they don't like candy, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be eating candy. Hey, maybe I shouldn't be drinking Red Bull too. <laughs> that is true. E Junkie says nerds are good. We we can't really keep nerds in this house because each of us will go through a box in like no time. So we'll first of all, there. the pink <laughs> and purple, the, the strawberry and uh Great, yeah. Great. You can get both of those in a it's like a it's like a Halloween bag, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Those are, are amazing. <laughs> and then the neon ones are really good too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Does anyone remember Mr. Freeze? You mean Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> from from Batman? Connor says Reese's peanut butter cups, everything else is muck. Ah! I have to be in the right mood for him. If I recall, Queeb, he doesn't like the Reese's peanut butter cups normally, but he used to ask me to buy him the peanut butter eggs that came out at uh, Easter. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. Reese's are n not for me. I don't like them. This kid, I swear. It's it's too much. It's like it's like the okay. So the correct uh, Oreo ratio, in my opinion, are the Oreo thins. Here we go. Here we go. And everyone's like, no, you got to get double stuff. I'm like, no. I I like the the regular. The regular, which are now called like the, they're called like double stuff or whatever. They're not like the ones that we had when we were growing up. They've like nerfed the sizes of everything. I like the thicker ones with two C's because I can dip them in milk and I like it when they fall apart. If I go with a thinner cookie, there's not as much to like get mushy. Yep. Hey JB, how you doing? Uh, welcome on in, James, as well. How are you today? So I'm on Amazon right now. I'm seeing how much nerds are. I'm just curious. For a pack of 24 boxes is 20 bucks. What the hell is that him? The hell is he doing? Oh, let's see what else. Nerd rope. I don't like the nerd's rope. That, that's like, it's weird. It's very weird. Uh, let's see. Tons of the nerd, nerd's ropes. The big chewy nerds, which I don't like. gummy clusters like th this is all bullshit what i'll probably do is what i did last year and i'll buy two or three huge bags of the tiny boxes of nerds maybe three or four and stash them i used to get a nerds rope at the movie theater and submerge it into my cola I've heard of people doing that. I've also seen them do that with the um, the Sour Stars, which are like some of my favorites ever. Um, and then I don't know, like, I, I don't know what turned me off about it, but I went from doing it one day and thinking it was the most fantastic thing ever to the next day being, no, this is, this is foul. I will not. Um, I don't know if you're from the South, but... Um, and I don't know if they still do it. I know my mother still does it and a bunch of our family. But they'll put um, peanuts in their Coke. My mom will actually put uh, honey roasted peanuts in her Coke. And it's the most foul thing ever. That might have been what turned me off to the, the let's put stuff in Coke thing that I was doing. Wait, what? Pe yeah. As in like boiled peanuts? No, like, uh, like, like, you know, like a little snack bag of peanuts. 
Like bar uh, peanuts? Uh, I, I, I don't know what a bar peanut, but you, you know, know like, like the like little regular already shelled peanuts. And literally, that's why they have them in those, those tall, skinny packs at checkouts and at like the gas station. You literally like cut one open, you pour it in your Coke and you drink it. I don't know, Malarthy. Like, this isn't me. This is a Southern thing, and it is, like, prolific everywhere. Like, BuzzFeed has done articles on this. It's disgusting. Salty peanuts. Salty peanuts in Coke. And it kind of goes along with what you were talking about the other day with your Coke syrup and your milk. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's, like, don't no, even. Stop. Don't even. No. Stop. I'm talking about how, like, that's, a, like, a super sweet, like, there is a, a very specific taste profile there. And there's the same thing with the Coke and the peanuts. It does not taste like Coke and it does not taste like peanuts. There's it a century old tradition that sees the two enjoyed a slightly less well-known manner, putting the peanuts in Coca-Cola. It's a simple concept. Snip the corner of a packet of salted peanuts, pour a generous mm -hmm. amount into a glass bottle of Coke and take a gulp. Do we have peanuts? <laughs> we don't. Uh, well, actually we might, Connor, this channel is all about Coke abuse. It, it absolutely is. It absolutely is, and it needs to stop. I, if I, I have peanuts I got in the cupboard, will you try it? Yep. Okay, let me go see. We're gonna we're gonna see. This is American culture. A <laughs> story. Um, when was I think it was back when we lived in up in our first apartment we actually talked about starting a channel or like at least a youtube channel where we tried different mm -hmm. snacks like there was a name for it and everything i'm not gonna say the name because i still think it's a cool name i remember but uh mm -hmm. like i still want to do it it would be so fun and all it is is like us just shooting the shit and trying new snacks i guess and i we need to tried like we tried like a, a few of them bring a large cup as well like a plastic we have like a plastic tumbler or something Okay, I do not have any peanuts. All I have are sweet Thai chili almonds oh, and no, no. honey roasted. I'm, yes. I'm sure we do. Hang on. So, so tomorrow, no. Are you? Of course, he's like walking away. I'll stay on. So we did have one. It was very old, and I threw it away a month ago. Nah, it was also weeks ago. No, I threw it away a month ago because it had been in there forever. All the nuts that we have are like literally right there. God damn it! I know. I'm the worst wife ever. But they're not over there. I'm going to the store tomorrow. We'll make an event of it. I will bring you a 20 ounce Coke and a bag of peanuts. No ice. No, well, no, you can't put ice in a bottle. Come on. It's going to be magnificent. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So there we go. We have plans for tomorrow, you guys. This is how we end up with a rule about no life deal. <laughs> As an American, peanuts and Coke is a new one for me. Um, I don't know if it's James and Drake or James on Drake, but James, uh, from my understanding, it's very specifically in the South South. I haven't heard a lot about it on, uh, like in the Carolinas or in Florida, but definitely Texas, Louisiana, um, even Alabama. Like it's, it's huge there. Like there's, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Barbara Mandrell song where she talks about putting peanuts in her coke like that's how big of a deal it was Malarkey it is but it's fair because he's constantly razzing me so it's cool Con constantly constantly uh, Connor I've roasted and salted cashews and cokes <laughs> I don't think it would be the same thing I think it well, I don't know. Eh, no, I don't think it would work. Um, the cashews may be too flavorful. However, Coke Zero tastes like trash. Mm -mm, so yeah. it might actually work out for you. Um, but yeah, Coke, tomorrow I will... Coke Zero has the um, aspartame in it, right? I think so. Whenever it came out, like everyone around me was like, Oh my God, it's going to be great. You're going to switch. No, bitch. I will never switch. I will either drink Coke or I will... Like, that's it. Like, nothing. No diet, anything. You decided um, once to prefer how things felt in the stomach to how things taste in the mouth. Now, sugary really? things disgust you. Oh. Interesting. Uh, 
I will definitely get you some tomorrow. I will put it on my little list. All right. And All if, right, we'll try it. And if chat comes up with anything else, we will do that too. I now have pretzels in my beer. Am I doing this right? Girlfriend misses Coke life because she hates aspartame. Yeah, it's like part of my my trials and tribulations with Queeb, uh feeding him is like I was talking about earlier, like he he will get on a kick, like only eats one thing, only drinks one thing, and he'll like that's it. He's like a toddler because he focuses in on that one thing and then he's done. Yep. Like, and I get burnt whether out. It's three days or mm -hmm. and so then that's what happened with me having four jars of marshmallow fluff that I had to throw away because he decided he was done with it and they all went bad. Um so I've been trying different drinks with him because I, I can see the end of the yellow Red Bull and white Red Bull tunnel. Oh, wait, someone, it's getting close. someone told us about a different Red Bull yesterday, Summer Edition Dragon Fruit. Oh, yeah, I, I need to find that one. Let's see if we can get that. Okay. Um, Queeb, I'm wasteful. But... Hey, I don't <laughs> buy this stuff just because I don't eat it doesn't make me wasteful, <laughs> right? You see how that works, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're like, we're going on this, this journey of like finding new drinks for him. Like even, um, bang, I, I thought for sure he would be on, he would be on to bang, but no, he won't drink it. Ellie Berries. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Hope you're doing well too. Ellie Berries. Thank you so much. Candy corn. Most either love it or hate it. Candy corn's good, but again, it, like, I think it depends on the season and it depends on like what kind of mood you're in. Water, trebuchet. <laughs> what is this? Everybody's coming in saying, Queeb, hydrate, Queeb, hydrate. It's like, <laughs> shut up. Queeb's, Queeb's an adult now. <laughs> I just had my birthday. <laughs> We're fine. Uh, for, what's it called? Oh, uh, Dragon Fruit Red Bull. Let's see if we can find some of that. Let's put an order oh, in right green. now for the cranberry. Apparently you can buy it in like from Walmart. Let's Hold try Amazon. On. I normally go through Amazon. Okay, I don't like that price. That that what that is two two dollars and change each one, and it's not bad. I just don't want to pay sixty bucks for twenty four. Like I, there's a line, and that's the line. Sorry, sixty bucks for how much? Twenty four dragon fruit Red Bulls. Are they brand new? Yeah, like it's from Amazon. It's on Amazon. Oh, I, no, no, no. We don't want to buy. I'm, I'm looking for like one that's discontinued on Amazon, which I last saw on Walmart. Well, the remember the last order that I got? That's where I got it. I had to order it and go pick it up at, uh, at Walmart. $2.50 each pickup only. There you go. Do you want to try candy that... corn? It's corn. No, it's popcorn, <laughs> but it's like colored and flavored rake. Candy corn, I, I don't really like. It's the the caramel corn, though. That, on the other hand, that I could eat all day. Wait, are except... you talking about popcorn or are you actually talking about candy corns? Wait, no, can no, no, no. Sorry. You're right. Candy corn's the little, the little triangle, the Halloween candy, yeah. right? Okay. Yes. What am I thinking of? Cotton candy. I don't think you're talking about cotton candy. I was thinking you were talking about like the different, like the candy flavored popcorn. Well, what's that called? Candy flavored popcorn. Like what? No, no, no. It's is. got a name. It's got a name. That's how it is, you guys. Kettle corn. Thank you. Thank you. You can get it in like I don't remember having that in Australia, and it's colored in Australia, not not like plain. Well, I'm so sorry that we're not as good as Australia. I'm wait, so wait, sorry. wait. I'm getting confused now. So kettle corn is the, the caramel corn, or is that different it's again? It's different. You're, I, we're all talking about specifically different things. So like, there are different flavors of popcorn. Like there's the candy flavored popcorn. There's the caramel flavored popcorn. Like those are things. There's the candy corn, which is the, uh, what's it called? Mellow cream. 
essentially, is like the little pumpkins. And then kettle corn, it's the, it's like a, like a salty sweet. Like there, there's actually like a sprinkle mix you can buy in the popcorn aisle at the grocery store. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We no, that's for, good. I like that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It actually, in fact, we have a bag of it in here, which you cannot eat. Wait, because... what's, what's Black Label Mountain Dew? Why are you guys giving him these ideas? Black Label Mountain Dew. Remember my dad had a oh, bottle oh. of Black Label Johnny Walker and I thought, oh, it's, it's, it's nothing. And I tried it and I was like, okay, I'm never having brown liquor again. It looks like it's dark berry flavored and it looks like it was discontinued as of 2020. So let's not even try that because it'll be difficult to get. Red cinnamon popcorn. Hard red coating so over popcorn. Exotic culture. <laughs> Rake, you and me both. This is. Uh, Greenhouse made... mentioned liquid death. So there's this brand of water called, called liquid death. And actually, Jason, um, he has it. He has cases of it at his house and he, he always promotes it. Even though it's not a sponsored stream, he always promotes it. It's funny. That's cute. I love that. Try melon okay. Mountain Dew. Mm, melon flavored stuff is not good for me. I don't. I don't think so, that. My problem with all of these is having a background in design and marketing. Like, I see the can for Liquid Death, and it looks beautiful. It looks amazing. It looks fantastic. And my brain is like, no, it looks good. It'll be great. You should totally try it. And it's the same thing with this black label Mountain Dew. I don't like Mountain Dew. But for whatever reason, that label is like, no, you should try it. It'll be great. So It'll be fantastic. We don't really drink, right? We're not drinkers. Maybe maybe once in a in a million years. But mm -hmm. there was a bottle of wine you wanted to buy. In fact, we mm -hmm. bought it, right? Because of the label. It was a beautiful mm -hmm. bottle. Yeah. And it wasn't even very expensive wine or anything. What was mm -hmm. that? We still have oh. it? No, we, we don't. We we actually got rid of it. Like we kept the bottle just because, you know, it was pretty mm. and we're we're white and that's our culture. Um, we keep empty wine bottles and uh, we ended up throwing it away whenever we moved out here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like like going down the wine aisle and the, the liquor aisle is just, oh, my God, I just want to spend money on just all of the art because some of these are just incredible. So pretty. There's a new product that's Coca-Cola coffee in a can. Yes. Yes. I have seen that there. Uh, Put that on the list, Ms. Queep. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, apparently, so apparently it's unhealthy though. Yeah, no, we, uh, we're, we're a healthy household here. Yeah. On, only, only healthy stuff. Mm-hmm. Coke coffee's amazing. Not a lot of caffeine, but it's good. I've tried it before, like a couple of years ago. I want to say it was like one of the specialty things. There wasn't a, a lot of them. Um, and it, it kind do you, you remember the, or I guess, do you know the concept of like cupcake wine? Like, like it's supposed to be wine that tastes like cupcakes and like cupcakey, like sweet wine. But what it tastes like to me is like you ate a cupcake in a wine glass. And when you got finished eating it, you poured wine in it and then you drank it. It's kind of the same thing with the coffee thing. Like it's, it's that like, sounds it's literally fucking revolting. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like it was not good, but I will get you a couple. Uh, Death Coke Wish coffee. coffee, which is canned black coffee. So we're not we're not big coffee drinkers, um, James. We don't drink anything. We have we have stories about <laughs> coffee. I I wanted Miss Queeb because I I like a Starbucks every once in a while if I can. Yeah. Splurge, you know, when I get fancy. And yeah, uh, I tried to get Miss Queeb to drink it. And even like a, I don't know, a caramel frappuccino, something very, very basic, right? Um, the coffee flavor was too much and uh, for Miss Queeb. So we decided to try our own homemade coffee. We had uh, ice cream. We had all sorts of different toppings. There was caramel drizzle. We had whatever. Um, we bought some cold brew and we're talking like this much cold brew in the bottom of 
a cup like this. Everything else was just cream and sugar and, and God knows what else. And I can't. It's, uh, it's the thing I was talking about yesterday. Um, oh, what is, what is the gene called? Oh, you were talking about cilantro with someone, right? I was, yeah. Is that the and same thing? It's, it, it's, it's kind of the same thing. It, it's like, it, it's a very specific gene. Where is it? I always get it wrong. It's like G, G, S, something, 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 something. But essentially it, um, bitter taste sensitivity is what it's called. Uh, so like bitter taste Brussels sensitivity. Sprout. Yeah. Um, that's why I don't really drink coffee is because it only takes just a little coffee and a huge thing of milk and I can still taste the coffee. Mm. For some people, they're like, oh, I, I don't taste anything. This needs more coffee. For me, all it tastes like is coffee. Same thing with like tea. I, I can't do uh, regular like, you know, herbal teas because to me, all it tastes like is the tannin in the tea. Same thing with wine. It, it's just a, a sensitivity. With the Brussels sprouts, I'm totally able to eat them if they're coated in bacon fat and sauteed vegetables, and that's the only way I can eat them. Uh, I mean, anything in bacon is fine. You could you could probably drink coffee with bacon. <laughs> okay, that's, it is the I'm tea, sure that's been done. Oh, definitely. It is the TAS2R38 gene. It is the gene that determines how sensitive you are to bitter tastes associated with PTC or glucosinolates. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, but yeah, it is a, a, a genetic, I will go as far as to say an abnormality. Is that the reason I can't stand the smell of in and out anymore? That might be a, a different gene, but yeah, that would be up there. Um, I, I was trying to, because it is genetic, I was trying to, well, I thought I would need to figure out like which parent had it. Um, because my, my parents weren't together long enough. And I didn't really spend a lot of time with my parents. Mm. And I remembered my dad would drink black coffee straight, like nothing added to it. He would live on coffee and bush light. And that was it would not drink water or anything, did not like sweet anything. My mother has to put practically a damn pound of sugar in a pitcher of tea in order to drink it. So she's the one that probably has this bitterness detection DNA bullshit mm -hmm. and he doesn't. But yeah, like it's, it's almost guaranteed that if one of your parents has it, you will absolutely have it. People with that gene can learn to like the flavor. Uh, dissonance, that is correct. Um, you can. Honestly, I've tried. It's been, it was literally 35 years of me trying. And I remember even like 12, 11 or 12 years ago when I lived here last, there was like, I remember being out with friends and they were so determined to find what Starbucks drink I would like. And I, I had to endure this, this session of being called like, oh, you're being a little baby. And you know, it's just coffee, just try it. Adults drink coffee. No, they don't. Uh, but yeah, like I forget what the little, the little kid shops are called at Starbucks. They're like super tiny. Um, but yeah, like they would literally, I would have like five or six uh, sitting around me. This was during Christmas, so it was like the um, like the hazelnut and the gingerbread and, and all of that. And all of them, they just they taste like ass, but with like with like a chaser of gingerbread, <laughs> with a chaser of hazelnut. There's nothing attractive about it. James, that is correct. They they are not. None of them are still in my life, which is great. But yeah, um, the I would say we started eating Brussels sprouts within the last year. We just tried them on a whim. And the first few times we've had them, they were disgusting, absolutely bitter. So maybe, no, you do like coffee. So if you do have that gene, it's probably not kicked all the way on. Um, so yeah, in all honesty, people should enjoy what they enjoy. I do think it's interesting how our tastes evolve as we grow older though. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I grew up in the South and they fry everything. Everything is coated in Cairo syrup and it is disgusting. Um, and now I like food wise, I don't like a lot of sweet things like candy. I fucking love candy, but 
sweet food I can't do. Mm -hmm. Like that carrot cake that's in there, I'll have a couple of bites and that'll be it. My girlfriend's mom makes bacon fat fried Brussels sprouts. That is exactly what we do. We buy the jar of bacon fat at the store. Yep. I do really a bunch good. of vegetables. Um, so Queeb can get some veggies in his diet and he'll lit like what he'll normally do is like later today, I'm going to make some probably with a combo of the bacon fat and the duck fat that I have. And he'll come in here on breaks and just stand there in front of the stove with a fork and just like start picking at it and just munch that way. So super good. Welcome back, Star Brummer. Star, welcome back. Sith Sithenan asks a very uh, que a good question that you might be able to relate to, Ms. Queeb. Anyone else have issues with texture-based foods? Oh, my God, girl. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I think, when was it? It was probably within the last year or so, the only condiments that I could really eat I swear to God, ketchup and barbecue sauce. I don't know what it was. It was something about like the thickness of mayonnaise that I could not handle. Like I could tolerate mustard, like the texture of mustard, but like mayonnaise was just, I couldn't do it. Um, I still can't do jello pudding. That's, that's you, a You don't stretch. like gummy bears or anything like that either, right? Well, that's the thing. I will eat Sour Patch Kids. Those are fine which they're relatively thin, right? And then I'll eat those orange slices. And those are relatively mm -hmm. thick and dense. Mm -hmm. But gummy bears, I, there's something about the texture of gummy bears. It's like too sticky. Like you can't, you can't like just bite all the way into it. Yeah. Like, like it, it takes a little bit of like maneuvering and effort. Can't do that. Can't do gummy worms. Uh, oh, gummy worms. The, the little sour neon ones. Ugh, so good. Just, no, no. Um, I used to not be able to eat mashed potatoes. Like we're we're talking. Picture your average five year old who has issues with eating and will will not like eat certain things because it looks icky or it feels icky. And that mm -hmm. was me. And it was because my mother was exactly the same way. She still eats that way now like she's very selective about what she eats i only started liking mayonnaise in the last year i only started using honey mustard in the last year even the sweet chili uh sauce that mm -hmm, we use mm -hmm. that's new that's only a few years old what about relish no like dill i cannot do dill it's it's so strong that it's just it overpowers everything to me i don't it's probably probably not related to that uh, that bitterness gene or compound or whatever. I wonder is, if it's just. I wonder if there's some part of that, like young adult or young person uh, resistance to being, you know, told they have to eat something. Maybe that maybe that carries on. Maybe it's childhood trauma in a certain way that that carries on. Like, I don't like bus Brussels sprouts naturally without, you know, mm -hmm. the bacon fat and all the seasonings, whatever. Because mm -hmm. um, they're bullshit and they're bitter and it, they're disgusting and like whatever. But if they're cooked a certain way, I can I can have them because the, the flavor is masked, which seems mm -hmm. like, like, why don't you just eat bacon then in, in that case, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> like, and we've gone through, through trials, like there's probably been 15 to 20 percent of the time like we we have brussels sprouts with vegetables one usually once a week sometimes every two weeks it's easy it's simple i like the prep work is kind of difficult but i can just throw it in the oven and walk away and there have been maybe 15 to 20 percent of all of those times where something is off it doesn't cook long enough or it cooks too long and it alters the taste and it's just foul. Uh, what it, hold, hold on, what did he say? My James Soy. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm super sensitive to both a bitter taste and vinegar, so I'm in the same boat. That's another one. I only recently started getting into salt and vinegar, like the salt and vinegar chips, and then we recently had the salt and vinegar pistachios, which are... Oh, they're good, yeah. I like them. They're so good. It, it's It's so amazing. So good. I'm I'm a big fan of vinegar. 
um especially like on fish i'll i'll drown fish and chips in not not chips what, what do you call what do you call chip fries chip fries. fish and fries sounds so weird um in vinegar either malt or or white vinegar is fine star bomber <laughs> did i hear salt and vinegar you did we are talking about salt and vinegar uh miscellaneous we would like to have your opinion elemental silver that sounds delicious i've never had salt and vinegar in ads. um i don't know how difficult it would be to find i actually found them on a whim at walgreens uh do you know the wonderful brand of pistachios they have salt and vinegar uh do you have a do we still have a bag probably not nope you devoured them we devoured um, them yes no i had a handful Oh, did they go down in price on the old Zon? They did go down in price. I will drop the link in uh, in chat. They're super good. Uh, very, very strong scent. Mm. You'll probably clear out your uh, nasal passages. It's, it's one of those. Totally cool. It's it's like a, it's it's an artificial. It's they they. I assume during the making process and. Uh, I know this because of how it's made, the, the legendary television show. Um, it, I think it's just a dusted on flavor. Like it doesn't actually, there's no liquid vinegar, at least in yeah. the, in the you know, during that stage of the processing. So it's mm -hmm. kind of coated in the stuff. So you, you got to be careful, especially at the bottom of the bag, because that can get pretty rough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's foul. A lot of canned food sit in vinegar doesn't really taste good. Yeah. Uh, I actually found a recipe on YouTube. And I made um, pickled onions. I didn't realize how easy it was to make pickled onions, and they've—I've literally that jar has been in there easily eight months, and it's like the most amazing thing. It's so powerful of a taste, but it, it's so good. It doesn't taste like vinegar, but it is definitely like a strong flavor. Um, I usually uh, put it on, like I'll just do like a. Uh, what is it like? Like just like a chicken sandwich? I'll I'll throw them on there. They're so super good. Pickled red onions are so easy to do and taste amazing. Nobody told me how easy they were. Nobody told me. Like there was no handbook that went around saying, "Hey, do you put sugar you in that as well?" No. That's what something my mom used to do is is yeah. pickled onions, but she'd put With sugar sugar on. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I take it back. It was tomatoes. So. So in vinegar like, and sugar. Really? And that was really good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look that up because that, that actually sounds interesting. I don't even know what kind of flavor that would have. Did they taste like tomatoes or, or like at all? Canned sugar, brown, just just regular white sugar. My mom's weird though. So. Well, she fits in with us. Bread and butter pickles are delicious too. Flash pickled cucumber slices, but sweet. We don't have pickles in the house. We don't eat pickles. Like we, we are those weird people who don't drink beer. We don't drink coffee. We we don't have pickles. We're just we're very weird people. We eat we eat a lot for convenience as well, I guess. Uh yeah. I mean we'll go through phases where I cook a lot. But it's no fun for me to have to to like go through the whole process of figuring out a meal and creating right. it and, and everything else, and then you don't want to eat. That's a that's a thing on TikTok. If you ever want to surprise your wife, <laughs> just just like just like you say, uh, "Hey, hey, babe, guess where we're going to eat?" and she'll say, oh, "Like." In and out, whatever, and you'd be like, "Yep, got it. Get in and the car. We're, we're going." What you do. Oh my god! I mean, it would work. Uh, Z Raven says, "What do you drink?" Um, for alcohol, we don't drink anything. We nah. we are a, a extremely dry household. We have some alcohol in the house, but not into it. I even during New Year's, we bought a bottle of. Um, we do sparkling. Oh, Chuck! Uh, grape Chuck juice. gave us um, a bottle of sparkling wine or champagne or something yeah. and we decided to open it for new year's and we like took a sip and like well that's that done 
<laughs> Happy New Year. It's, it's, yeah, it's just it's not our thing. Um, working working in a bar for a long time, I I learned how to hold my liquor, like because you would have customers come in and and you know would do a shot with me, you know, and, and you would do it. And I not only did I learn how to hold my liquor, I also learned how how to trick drink, like basically pour out the drink and pretend to slam it. Um, mm. Yeah, so like I I can tolerate alcohol extremely well. That's probably also the alcoholic side of my family <laughs> kicking in. Um, but I mean, yeah, like the taste it goes back to that uh, that gene. I I can taste the alcohol. It's not great at all. Um, people talk about you know oak you know oak barrel whiskey and you know scotch age to however long it, it all tastes like piss water to me it's just so disgusting uh we have a couple of things in there like we did flavor like the peppermint flavored vodka we did for um, i got some for christmas or something and and i think i know i tried some and then you you smelled it and you're like no i'm good i don't need it and that was pretty much it mayonnaise gonna be too tart sugar's a natural flavor enhancer Connor, yes. Uh, I sometimes put sugar in the spaghetti sauce, but I actually have to hold back on it because Queeb can taste the sugar exceptionally well. Uh, kind of annoying, but you know, is what it is. Gummy bear vodka. Oh, that's. I've seen people make them, or gummy, uh, sorry, vodka jellies. I've seen people make them for parties and stuff. Again, uh, never been never been a fan. Dissonant says, McQueen, would you say you're someone who craves food or not so much? And yeah, not so much. Question. I, well, it depends, right? The other the other night we were talking about candy or something during stream, and it was late. And now mm -hmm. then I just got this thought into my head, and I'm like, I I gotta eat something. I gotta, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, but no, I don't often get in that mode. Mm -mm. It, it's. I would say, especially lately, within the last couple of months, you you will not eat, but you will snack around. Yeah. Like, yeah. you will literally come in the kitchen and you'll open up a bag of whatever. You'll eat it. Uh, you don't eat. You used to eat, like, at least a couple of helpings of pasta when I would make it. Or like chicken and vegetables, and now you like you'll have like a very small bowl. Like you, you've turned you've turned into like a teenager. You, you, <laughs> like you're you're very picky about what you eat. You don't eat a lot um, as a whole. You drink a, a fuck ton of Red Bull and uh, your root beer. You even backed off kind of on the Gatorade. Uh, that's kind of not your your thing, and then I, I have to sometimes force water down you and just like hand you a bottle and just say hydrate. Please eat, a, this. eat a whole pizza for lunch. I used to I used to do that. Oh. Although the the other day I did go to um so what's that place we go to sometimes where you make your own Blaze. pizza. Blaze. Blaze pizza. Yeah yeah yeah. Super good. They're only like you know mid sized pizzas I guess. I don't know they're not very big and um, they're thin. And I went through a whole one of them the other day. It was it was amazing. I felt I felt it afterwards. You know how you you have that sort of tinge of regret after you eat an entire pizza. No, I don't know that at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I I not only am I eating uh, feeding myself, I'm also feeding my feelings most of the time. So like I have I have to battle with that. And, you know sometimes. I, w I want to make a peach and just eat the whole thing. And sometimes I do. And it's amazing. And I don't regret it. What's that place you introduced me to? We get it sometimes. Cheap, cheap uh, pick up and go. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Little, uh, complete trash pizza, but it's it's like, it, it's good. It's quick. Um, like Removing it, the it, belt it, to make space. It's something my dad would say. And <laughs> do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating Little Caesars right now. I feel very called out. For real, there. I have the app. I like him. Malarkey, it's good. It's good in my opinion. He he never had it. Super cheap. He didn't even know what it was. Um, 
and I introduced him to it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like five dollar pizza. He's like, wait, it's a five dollar pizza? Yeah, it's a five dollar pizza. Like you just go pick it up. So it's ready already. Yeah, it's ready. You don't have to like order it. You can just walk in. What? Um, he will mow through a bag of breadsticks normally, but breadsticks are good. Uh, you haven't done that lately. Like the two bags that I I, I literally just bought whenever we did Little Caesars mm -hmm. last week, mm -hmm. you didn't eat them. You're like, no. Nah. So that's I the thing. Some, so pizza. sometimes the the breadsticks are like incredible, but these ones are like mushy and like too soft and mm, mm -hmm. you know they, they didn't they weren't the same anymore so maybe they were having an off day so everybody's allowed to have an off day it's true uh hold on chat's going a little fast ellie berry says i am an icon one whole pizza to feed feelings correct i absolutely but here's the thing i i'm not normally like that but i am working through a bunch of like you know childhood trauma like like basically i'm i'm preparing myself to be an adult so i don't blame other people for my shit and i work through it but as a result i cry a lot especially when i'm like oh my god this happened because of that oh my god i need to feed my feelings and then i want to like you know go get a fucking uh chalupa thank you very or much two or four and dissonance oh dissonance kind. thank you so much um but yeah, like, I will absolutely eat my feelings. It makes me feel a whole lot better. I don't feel that great about my myself, like, physically because of it. But it is helping to get me through that emotion. At which, at some point, I am going to have to work on because food is also a trigger. So I'm trying to get everything done and everything worked through and then get to the point where I work through the food trauma. And then hopefully I'll be okay. It's a tough cycle. It's, I, the turning point for me was realizing that while my parents did the best that they could, it was not good enough for what I or my siblings needed. And having that realization that one, that's true. And two, they are their own person and they are fallible. That like gave me the most progress. I'm still working through shit. And I will still cry if I hear like, you know, a, a father and kid having a moment or a mother and a kid having a moment. I'll, I'll still have like, oh my God, everything is sick. But I have my little 30 seconds of freak out and then I'm good. I'll, I'll eat a pizza. That's when you get the texts that say, hey, I'm bringing home Little Caesars. Elemental, hey. you've lost 50 pounds, dude. That's amazing. The last few months yes. have been a brick wall. Don't, don't be hard on yourself for that. What's, what Raven just said just then is exactly right. Yep. It's gonna, it's gonna get harder and harder the, the closer you come to the, your, to your target. Definitely. Like I said, an icon, nothing better than understanding your feelings and working through them. Absolutely. I wish I would have started doing it like 15 or 20 years ago, but I didn't have the life experience and I didn't have the experience around my parents enough they were very hands-off like my mom was working constantly my dad was like you know he just like up and left and did his his own thing uh so i had to like get older and kind of live my own shit and then start working through it but yeah absolutely i think everyone should at least try to work through why they have certain triggers like if if someone says something or does something and you you're automatically in a shit mood or in an angry mood and, and have to like go take a walk, I think everyone should figure out why does that happen? Why are you having that reaction? And blast through it. Because you don't want to get to a point where you're like 50 or 60 and maybe you've got a kid or or you know, you're you're at least in, in company where there there is a child or or those triggers are present. And you have to go have a moment in the bathroom like a little baby because you haven't worked through your shit and you're 55 years old. I carry it well being like 6'3", but I can't get rid of this gut for the life of me. Yeah, down from 360 to 310. Oh my god, that is amazing. Diet Mountain Doom. I love that <laughs> name. Thank you so much for your resub. <laughs> Diet Mountain Doom, thank you. This is actually our very first positive mental health uh, discussion. We, we 
well, one, I'm never on this channel to talk, and two, we we just don't talk about it publicly. We just kind of, you know, do our own thing. But thank you for recognizing it. Uh, diet probably won't work. You got to change your lifestyle if you want it permanent. That is absolutely correct, Raven. You um, you can make temporary changes. You you can drop a lot of weight extremely easy, but if you don't keep up that habit, it's going to come back. It's, it's, gonna it's more about your 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 mental state, I think. And, and forming habits rather than mm -hmm. yeah subscribing to a diet of any kind even going to the gym you know without that gradual change if you say i'm going to make changes today unless you're willing to if, the, have the discipline it's very very difficult i've, I've been there so many times definitely uh snare plane says damn has this guy been up for a day and a half uh it's been a few days I started at, um, <laughs> what, 6 o'clock on the 14th? And I've yeah, only, the stream's only been down for about a minute, if that. Like, you've, you've taken breaks to sleep. But, I mean, it, we're more doing streaming every day. And, you know, it's it's kind of a struggle bus. We're, we're only on day four. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll get a little bit easier. 20, 26 to go, McQueeb. That's easy. That's easy. We can do that. Uh, Malarthy, thank you very much. I, I try not to be so hard on myself. I am working through it, like I said, so it, it takes time. Uh, Elemental Silver said, I cut out all soda. I drink nothing but water and I do light exercise. Reduced intake, try to move more too. Elemental Feels Silver, good. do you find that cutting out sugar once, like, again, there's that, that sort of uh, physiological change that has to happen, but once that once you you break that barrier, do you still crave the sugar or because remember Ms. Kui, years ago you you did something where you stopped drinking soda and and we're soda fiends in this house so that was a huge deal yeah. and then after what a month maybe six weeks the taste of soda changed for you and like you you totally. wouldn't drink it you didn't like it anymore. It's happened so I've had two bouts of losing like this last time I lost like 40 pounds and of course I gained it back because pandaroni and then prior to us getting together I lost 55 and in both instances it took around 15 to 20 pounds for the taste of anything sweet to completely change and it goes from tasting the way it does to hurting your teeth because it's so sweet mm. and it just it tastes off like you know how if you're not used to drinking um like diet coke or coke zero it, it's that holy crap no that's disgusting i've had that moment happen um i remember this one moment in particular i was in the i think i was like at the tail end of it of like losing that 30 40 pounds and I forgot to bring my lunch to work and I was just having one of those bad mental health days. I needed to go get food because I was going to kill people at work. Um, I went to McDonald's. I, I've eaten at McDonald's thousands of times in my life. I got a simple burger, a uh, plain ketchup onions only, small fry, small Coke. I'm like, this is fine. I can do that. Fries tasted like cardboard. Even the burger itself tasted foul um the coke just tasted like nothing it was just like it was so disgusting i ended up literally taking a bite of the burger and fries and just threw it away as soon as i got back to the the car park at, at work it was awful but it's something where it, it it does come back if you if you start to implement those things again you start relying on them heavily mm. um but like the taste it i don't know if it's in general but for me both times it took about 15 pounds and that was consistent not drinking soda at all that's not going with coke zero or diet coke or anything like that just literally going from coke to water cold turkey that's it same thing with sugar like literally cutting out all sugar you're gonna have a really bad time to begin with but once you get over the headaches um you will uh you'll start to forget the taste and the comfort that you used to have with sugar and then eventually uh it'll be a completely foreign thing to you mm. 
largess. I, I, I don't know what that message was. Oh, he asked who the, uh, who the guest was. Largess, it's me. It's just me, little old me. Oh, uh, let's see, what did I miss in chat? Everyday stream content is so good. I fell asleep to the stream every night since it started. Thank you so much. We greatly appreciate that. Uh, Diet Mountain Doom asks, are you ever heading back to Noita? Valid question. Um, it is valid. Not anytime soon. Uh, I got another couple of games in rotation at the moment. Um, this certainly doesn't help. This is a, a game that's pr we're probably going to be 100 hours into this before we get it done. Um, no, I, I, I've i seen as much of Noita as I really care to. I know there's a few extra challenges and stuff in the game now, but I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of, I've, I've evolved. My, my content has changed since then. I go back to it, but I think you, you do need kind of that break to, uh, to kind of forget it a little bit. Because when you were, when you were playing, like you were like down in the depths of Noita, you were into it. So you might get back, who knows? Uh, let's see, what else? On but I'll, I'll still happily, you know, support people that do play it and, and I, I love the community and... Um, I love watching it. It's, it's, it's some of the effects, especially like explosions and the way like acid and, and liquids burn and stuff. It's, it's, it's quite mesmerizing. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Anjan said, I worked at an elderly home up until COVID happened. They cut down on staff when it happened. At least happy people in there were those without kids or families to visit them. The morbid obese ones were the second worst mentally. I believe that. I absolutely believe that. Like, probably the best mental health that I've... Eh, that's a lie. Let's say the second best mental health that I've ever been in was after I had lost 50-some-odd pounds. But I hadn't worked through everything that I've worked through now. Like, now, I, I still have my moments where I cry and I take things too seriously and I do need a lot more recuperation time to kind of allow myself to even talk to you guys and and have that confidence um but yeah like my mental health is, is amazing now i understand so much about what what i've gone through and what i will go through and i don't take things as seriously anymore however i do deal with uh i do have body dysmorphia like severely i've always had it so there have been moments where I've just been crying at Queen. I don't like anything. Everything is shit. But, you know, it's momentary and you get over it. Connor says, this is good. Thanks for sharing. I eat my feelings too and maybe other people's feels. Yes, eat all the feels. Eat them all. Uh, J for, it's either J4T or 777 or J4TA. I dropped... 100 pounds over the last year, I'm now struggling really hard to learn how to hold at my new baseline. Um, do you, let me, let me make sure I got the name right. Do you listen to any of Luke Narwhal's YouTube videos? Uh, he's amazing. He started off reading uh, YouTube comments, or not YouTube comments, uh, Reddit posts about weight loss and he used to do like drama stuff but then he started focusing specifically on weight loss and health and then just recently he's gotten so big to where he can he just has people submitting directly to him he has tons of videos on um how to handle weight loss uh if you're with your last little bit how to get started all of that. I'm going to post the link. His name is Luke Narwhal. Uh, it's super good. Sorry, Miss Queeb, no links in channel, please. Really? <laughs> You're gonna do really? Uh, scroll back up. But yeah, definitely uh, check that out. Um, I've learned tons about eating 
and and food triggers and and what other people have gone through it super good i think i think recognizing uh or more to the point being in touch with that side that's that's even even acknowledging the fact that there may be some things you need to work on is 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 at least half of the battle right there a lot of people are so closed off to maybe accepting that that you know we we all mm -hmm. have problems right yeah um but it's I, yeah i think i think the acknowledgement that that you know we need work i remember when i was a kid um and i remember this moment specifically because i thought that i thought i thought i was broken um i was always messing up in in class and um, my mother sent me to a child psychologist um, to sort of, you know, see what's wrong. Not, not, you know, to, to get therapy essentially, right? But back then, it's like my mom is sending me to this this asylum. I'm gonna get tested. I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, there's something severely wrong with me. My mom doesn't love me, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because I didn't have the maturity to realize what was going on. Um, and one of the things that I learned in therapy was that I need to be conscious of other people and to, to think about the words that are coming out of my mouth before I release them. Right. Like I don't have to be, um, the funny guy. I don't have to be, uh, you know, always, always acting up in class or, or whatever. Um, and it, it helped me to a huge degree. And I, I don't think I ever thanked my mother for that because I, I still, I still hold some resentment, you know, but at the same mm -hmm. time, it's because of her that, you know, maybe I learned something incredibly valuable back then. Um, Sounds like you did. It really does. I mean, how old were you when this happened? Young. Like we're talking... Like maybe somewhere between like 13 and 15, I think. Yeah, and that, that was really, that had to have been really pivotal because you're... Pre-beard, pre right yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, safe to say that was pre-beard. Yeah. But yeah, like that's, that was really great that she actually thought about that. That's kind of, you're on the precipice of be, becoming a man and... and you're dealing with all of these emotions and um, what's the word uh, perceptions of, of what people think that you should be. And, Oh, he's just being a boy. That's, that's why he's so loud. And, and what else? I think that was very, really cool of her. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. We have uh, prof Owen in the house. Once upon a time, I did six months of medical weight loss, lost over 100 pounds. It completely changed my taste buds, but taking on a stressful job and eating all the stress put them back pretty quickly. That's what happened to me both times. Like, just once the the stress kicked in, it, and I have a tendency to put myself last, and I take care of everybody first, and so it was just kind of inevitable that it was going to happen. But yeah, like, taste buds completely change. Uh, the, like regular, I, I would say like mildly spicy food tastes extremely spicy unless you're you're constantly feeding it to yourself. But literally everything changes, even the taste of bread. You can almost taste the chemicals in every single thing you eat. And I'm, I'm hoping to get back to that this year, but like before the end of the year, um, just so I'm not so reliant on, you know, eating the junk in the house and and like, like what was it the other day we were i know it was like the day before the subathon uh Kweeb and i we were just sitting in the office working on on stuff and just like narrowing down stuff and we literally just made a bucket of salad and just sat there and mowed through it it was amazing mm. however yeah it was like it was good and while he was eating it he made a comment like oh my god i haven't eaten anything today and this was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And the only reason why he ate it was because I happened to walk into the office 
with a big bowl of, of salad. And I, I got him a fork. We sat there and ate it and it was great, but I would love to get back into that, that habit where food tastes like food and I don't taste the chemicals in it. Um, Diet Mountain Doom went back and said, variety is great. Really enjoyed watching you play Noida. Uh, Elemental said it got you started on McQuee because it was flashy. But the overall content and the dedication is what made me stay. And, El and uh, Diet Mountain Dew agreed. Turnbus said, I enjoyed watching you play Noida. It's the reason you start watching streamers. Connor is bored of Noida. Noida, it's... I can kind of understand Queed's stance on it because... I don't play video games anymore. I used to play WoW Hardcore, and now I don't. Um... Out of all of the hours that Queeb has streamed in Noida, I have watched maybe 1,100 hours. And it's it's a beautiful game. I love that there's a witch in it. I love the lore behind it. It's great. I'm tired of it. We need a break from Noida. Just a small break. Let's see if I can pull up. So Elemental Silver said a healthy cry is important. And then uh, Anjan said, crying is cleansing unless it's a hopeless cry. Yeah, I, I'll sometimes have the hopeless cries um, just because for, for mental health, it is good to just have a moment, get it out of your system, and then, okay, you've had your, your two minutes of crying, pull yourself together, get back to whatever you're doing. It's absolutely so, so cleansful. So I've played yeah, uh, 1,250 hours of Noita. If you've That's... played 1,200, I've probably watched easily 1,000 of that. Yeah. I've... I don't understand. It's the same way with, uh, with Isaac and with uh, the other games you play. Because I'm not there playing it, I don't understand. So it's... Like, even, even tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but whenever the, the next goal is, if it was, oh, Miss Cleve has to co-op Noita, I would have the same difficulty as I'm going to have with I Isaac. wouldn't I wouldn't do that to you. Well, like, that's good. Yes, um. Isaac's going to be, Isaac's <laughs> going to be tough, but no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that at all to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Malarthy says... Uh, BDD body dysmorphia is awful and I wouldn't wish it on anyway. It's horrible. Like if you don't, if you've never experienced it, you do not feel like you are in your body. Like your body is not yours. And it, it's much less to do with being a particular weight because I felt it when I was 98 pounds and I feel it now, but you truly do not feel like your body is yours and you don't feel like your face is yours. It's like, it's the weirdest thing. Like, it's not dissociating, but it's more like I recognize that I am in this this meat machine, but I don't recognize the meat machine, if that makes any sense. What's up, Donkey Jim and RN Gamer? Welcome back, guys. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get started here. Yeah. Let's uh, switch on over. Hey, play a little bit Let's of uh, Final Fantasy. It was nice to talk with everybody. It was nice to have mental health hour. I think that that was very nice of us to have. We needed it. Um, yeah, last night actually, because my mods and Miss Queeb, well, Aaron specifically and Miss Queeb, uh, came up with a plan to to keep me on track. It's uh, it's been a little bit better. Uh, I got a, I got good rest last night. So yeah. <laughs> I was telling chat that um, someone, someone asked, you know, is he still alive? And I'm like, well, I checked on him four times and he's been in the same position all four times. Like, I, I made sure that you were breathing and everything, but you were out. You made sure I'm breathing? I'm not a snake, Ms. Quib. I'm, not <laughs> oh my God. I'm not just going to die in the middle of the night. Oh, my God. But yeah, like you were you were out. You needed you needed some good sleep. So I'm glad you got it. I will go ahead and leave you guys uh, so you can get into the gameplay. But thank you for listening to me. It was very nice. And I will catch you guys tomorrow, uh, probably about an hour or so before Cleve comes on. And if you have any questions, comments for me or whatever, if you head over to the Discord, I have a, a channel in there's the Discord. A, there's it's a Miss Cleve channel, yes. There, there is a Miss Cleve channel. You can say whatever you need to there. You can always DM me and we'll talk there. 
Y'all have a good night. Thank you, Miss Queep. Goodbye. Love you. All right. Final Fantasy X. No, we're good. How many times can you have a final fantasy? Uh, at least 20. That's 20 plus, right? <laughs> Where are we? Um, so we just got, so Yuna, uh, we just interrupted Yuna, Yuna's wedding, wedding. Um, we got captured. We went to the Albed home. Uh, we then nuked the Albed home. I left a, uh, an Albed primer behind. Fortunately, uh, there's a way to get that without too much hassle. So I didn't cheat. I used the features of the game to go back in time and pick it up. Um, no, we're doing, we're doing good. So now we are at... Looks like we've got to regroup. Oh yes, we're in the cavern. Okay. We've got Yuna and we need to go around and pick up everybody, I think. Or well, they're all waiting for us outside, I can't remember. Um, but we do have Bahamut now. Um, I named Bahamut Jermaz. I mean, we grew up together, good friend of mine, mod in the channel. Um, and he's a badass, so I thought it was appropriate. And uh, that's it. That's where we're at. Did we fight the underwater zombie dragon? No, not yet. So this is it. This is right at the start of this section. We just had a massive cutscene. Um, all my pals got imprisoned and then thrown into a lake or some kind of uh, river or whatever called the Via Pacifico. They threw the best swimmers on the planet into a lake as punishment and assumed they're dead. Like Bond villain level uh, strats here. So yeah. I think we just have to run around this maze and see what's up. There is a bunch of stuff to pick up by the looks of it. We got Lulu, we've got Oren, Kamari's here. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And like I said, we have Bahamut, so if we get into a random battle, no, no problem. One problem with Yuna is that she's been out of the game for a little bit, right? And um, that means she's going to be under-leveled compared to everybody else. Let's go get Lulu first. Here we go. Bahamut's just going to wreck house. We got Jack shot. Jack shot is yeah. We, I had to try a couple of times to get that. Um, we beat the the quote unquote finals of uh, Blitzball. Oh my! First time after four retries. <laughs> Monkey Lawn Gnome, thank you very much. Seven months.
This guy can't heal himself, correct? Maybe he has white magic? No. Just a shit ton of black magic. Okay. Yes, this is Lulu. Lulu, I... It's okay, I know. Don't you worry about it. We're here now, that's all that matters. Uh, what's next? Skill Sphere, Lucid Ring, 10,000 bucks. You know I'm all about that cash. Then we'll get Oren, we'll head back. Then go back again for Kamari. Got to do a little bit of a loop. Um, but you're better off fighting with Yuna. Just to sort of catch her up a little bit. Um, let's do... I've never heard her say that before. Damn, they hit hard, huh? Ice damage. Big hit. Dick. No problem, Donkey Jim. Yeah, if I'm if I'm here, don't stress too much. I can I can I got the mod stuff down. Like I always say, we uh, we got a really good channel here. There's not much that needs doing. Um, let's just defend with you, I guess. Lightning you don't like, huh? Get zapped. So Raven, there's two soundtracks. We started with the, the classic version. This is the arranged music. So you can you can switch between the two. It's a little bit it's got a little bit more oomph in it. Uh we're going left here. Oh, we can't go through there. We need to teleport in there. Interesting. Figure that out. This camera, I swear. Let's bring out Huxley. What are they, ice? All right, let's bring out Zoe. Sorry, Feora, then. Please help us.
No, lightning. Oh well. This should still do the job, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, that'll do it. We're only going to get a couple of levels out of Yuna anyway, it seems. There must be an exit somewhere. We search. Yeah. Yeah, Orin. And the save sphere, most important. So apparently I did this all backwards, but whatever, I don't think it matters. Uh, next one, there is a chest here, and then, yeah, we go straight back. Nope, that's locked as well, interesting. Oh, hello. That's a, a flan. Um, let's bring you out. No, no, that's Valifor. My bad. It's a problem when you rename Aeons. You can't remember who's who. If we can do this, huh? Big freaking hit. Probably not much physical damage. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. Waterra. He might actually kill me. Right, let's dismiss you then. Good we get their overdrives up though. It's pretty cool. Um Orin, sure. Give him a good My dude with the stone touch. Uh Lodred, thank you so much for showing up, man. How you doing? Uh appreciate it. Good to have you here. Yeah, we're just relaxing with a bit of Final Fantasy X today. Hopefully we'll get into uh, a little bit of Blitzball as well. Kamari, hello, Kamari. Yuna, sorry we left you alone. No, it's okay. Hold up. No, no, no. She went on her own accord. Nothing to do with us. So that's a potion. Uh, we can backtrack, maybe get the other one. Then we'll go back and try to figure out how to get into that little uh, alcove with the three chests. What's up, Kamari? How are you, man? Can you learn anything here? Let's have a look. Maybe not. Like, I get it. They feel bad. And that's fine, but it's definitely not our fault. I can't believe it's not final. 
fantasy. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, hits for nine. Very good. Proud of you. Bonk. so many power spheres every other sphere we got close to a hundred um it's definitely not the case with the others i'll just keep creating new save files totally fine if we go up here there should be another chest here. Who does the spitting move? This guy. Too fast. Are these all different elements or am I just getting I'm getting confused, that's all. Bonk. some ability spheres. Make sure we got enough of those. Lightning. Uh, sorry. Ice. No sweat, Raven. Thank you for stopping in, my friend. I'll see you again real soon. So, the question is, how do we get the three chests? Infiltrate the locked treasure room. Continue south from where you found Lulu. Until you reach a dead end. Collect the elixir from the treasure chest. I think we've already done that. Activate the glyph in the rubble. Okay. Go there first. It's bottom left. Uh, we might have to get... Did you miss an Isaac start? No, I just jumped straight into Final Fantasy today. Let's see, Water Flan? Yes. Zap it. Consider it zapped. Don't you kill him.
It's not a very effective heal, Lancet, is it? A cursed one. Very good. Yeah, I feel great today. Happy to have the Blitzball dudes out the way. No good. No, I mean, even recovery Lancet isn't very good. It's, it's like specifically for learning, I think. It's the old gang. I I personally like the old gang. I think I think they're great. All right, so south and west, then up and left, then down. Yeah, I missed I missed the glyph. That's all right. The encounter rate here isn't bad. Oh, the one stuck in the wall? Right. Ambush. That is kind of bad, though. Though Auron has so much HP, it doesn't really matter too much. He dead now. Layer for Lulu. We need to get uh, auto shell and auto paste on some weapons. That would be so dope. Um. Pugnacious one, how you doing? Is there a story behind the cactus? I mean, it's a... It's a cactor. I don't know about a story. Is there a reason Lulu has them as a weapon to begin with? Maybe it's like a... Maybe it's like a, an Inception thing where she chooses the, the totem. You don't understand it? Don't don't even try. It's fine. No, I don't I don't think it has any relevance to you know, she's she's just got plushies as as weapons and they I guess they enhance her magic or whatever. All right, once we've done that activate the glyph, return to the T intersection and head east. The corridor eventually returns to the room in which you started. Back to the start. We were talking about Metal Gear the other day, actually. I've really got to replay 5.
Move north from the first save sphere and take the first right turn. Black magic sphere. And the floor glyph should now be active when you step on it. Outside is moved to a new location to the west. Psychomantis, you know how much I freaked out at at the whole thing. The fact that it reads memory card save files and then like you have to switch the controller ports. Like that didn't it never clicked to me. Definitely uh, ahead of its time, I would say. The double KO, okay. So there should be another glyph past. There's new location to the west. Did is that a typo? No, that one's... I, th I swear there's errors in this guide. Hang on a sec. Take the first right turn. A black magic sphere is in the right side of the chamber. Which we got already. And the floor glyph. So there's a floor glyph in here. Sure is. New location to the west. Go back to the save sphere. Head west again. When you reach the chamber where the gate bars your path, stand on the teleport pad. When the glyph arrow points towards the room, step on the pad in to teleport inside. Now you can collect blah, blah, blah. And then that's it. Then we're done. Then we have a fight. I feel ya. Good miss, Oren. Maybe you didn't hear what was just said. These guys suck. They can confuse. So... Fire. Hits for 31, huh? Let's 
So we're going back up. What's the quickest way here? Just run around. So good to have Yuna back. I mean, don't get me wrong, Kamari with his healing uh, definitely helps. But she's a far superior healer. What was the Gary Vault in Fallout 3? Fallout 3 is an amazing game. I personally love it. I know it's not everybody's favorite whatever, but I thought it was great. It's the one I remember the most. It's just so incredibly immersive. I think I played that on the original Xbox too. Critical hit, Yuna. I'm impressed. Yeah, she's getting tons of levels now because uh, she's a little bit behind. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate when games split you up like that? Never liked it. Makes me uh, somewhat anxious. Put a cashew nut in Coke Zero with in intent to hate it, and now you're confused. You think you get the nuts and Coke thing? Uh, Largis, we're on the advanced sphere grid. Um, first time I'm using it, by the way. Uh, I don't hate it now. It was very unusual to start with, but I think I get it. Back to ice, so these ones split up. Well, if Miss Queeb does get uh, some salted peanuts tomorrow, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try Coke with with salted peanuts. It's a th it's a southern thing. It is a thing, accursed one. Ch check it. Look it up. It's the new thing? <sighs> this room is very profitable. I just want to go back, I guess, right? <sighs> Head north through the red lit corridor.
cool. Lucid Ring. That would be Yuna's equipment, right? Could be good. Check it out. Silence, Confuse, and Poison. It's not bad. What are we currently wearing? Echo Ring. Yeah, okay. Very good. I'm excited to try it. I I can't wait. Pugnacious. No, 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 please. That's what... Go, go nuts. Yeah, post in Discord. Everybody's welcome to post stuff in there. I try to categorize a lot of it, but... I had a memes channel. I had to get rid of it. People were getting some of the memes borderline, you know, pushing that envelope. Why is that monster susceptible to lightning damage in the first place? That doesn't make any sense. Isn't he like literally a lightning beast? Hey, Outdoor Special, what's up, man? Let me let me check this. Oh, I love it, dude. That could be the cover of a Tool album. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Is it a robot? This thing? Nah, it's some kind of... Let's have a look. A maze larva. I don't know. Like potato chips and chocolate. Miss Queeb used to put, or still would, I guess, put um, junior mints, which are m mint candy, into popcorn. And I know a lot of people have done that before. Um, it's a salty sweet, yeah. It's me. Why are you here? We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. <sighs> you will fight us? The Temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. His guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will <laughs> do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. against mine. It's a bit of a size difference.
This is a scratch. Um. Hmm. Chrono, yep. Yep, Anima was badass, man. It's not over yet. have a bit of an unfair advantage here just just a wee bit this might hurt I wish I knew how much HP each one had. There we go. Two for two. Who's next? Goats over yonder. Hello. Welcome on in, man. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much for your resub. Uh, okay. I cannot let you pass. Yeah.
Now might be a good idea to block, huh? she get yeeted? She's gone. <laughs> ah, she's fine. Let me just start again. Okay. Oh yeah, Yuna's... Don't, don't worry about Yuna. Yuna's stronger than... than you think. We are slowly building our... Yeah, we are. Her shoes have super glue. been very bad yes Wouldn't you, as a summoner, or even Bahamut himself, if they have some kind of awareness of what's going on, go, hey boss, this isn't working. Something's, something not quite right here. I keep doing my, my major attack. Still standing, both of them, they're fine. Oh, he, he wounded now. Aeon's unionized hazard pay and health care. Um, I'm not even going to activate Diamond Dust. I'm going to save for overdrive for next time. How much do you think Bahamut weighs? He'd be he'd be tons. At at least three. Does do do Americans have um 
So the rest of the world, right? We have a uh, thousand kilograms, which is the ton, right? What's greater than a pound? What's a thousand pounds other than a thousand pounds? Anime Daddy, just in time, can you please answer the question I just asked? A gallon, perfect. Thank you. Of all the people to ask. <laughs> How are you, dude? Good to see you, man. <laughs> a ton or a ton? I think it's different spelling of the same word, right? Or are they or are they different amounts? 130 US gallons is a buttload. Okay. And that's an imperial butt buttload, correct? Making sure I'm hydrated and all, th all that jazz. All right. You, you folks have to stop. I'm good. All right. My, bo my body is 70% Red Bull. I've taken care of that. Don't worry. Like, hydrated. Yes. Man, he, he's taking a long time to die considering he was just, he's like, he's limping. Look, the poor guy. Miss Queeb. It's good. It's good. Everything's good. I know Anime Daddy's just looking out for me. An Imperial Ton is 907 kilos. There we go. Good job, Shiva. Sorry, Feora. Good job, Feora. He drinks the water or he gets the hose again. Let's go. <laughs> There's a way to the surface up ahead. Your pilgrimage is over. Are we swimming now, boy? What do I want to buy? Huh? What do you mean buy? I actually wouldn't mind a few of these. Who is this? The character? That's Titus. Everybody gets split up, so we have to sort of fight our way through it.
Oh, we get a new weapon for Walker. And Titus. Alright, that's sick. Good camera angle change right there. How many potions do I have? Shit, I might need to go back. Oh, we'll see. Um, please steal from one of these. Dragon scales. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to need potions. We should actually have Albed potions. Yeah, all right, all right, anime daddy. Boom, Titus. Actually, I shouldn't use the Albed potions. They're... They're pretty good. Hang on. I got 75 high potions. Never mind. It's fine. These people can breathe underwater. Anime Daddy, in this world, that is something that's... Uh, that's a thing. Are there any chests here? No. Nope. Another save sphere already? That doesn't sound right. Yeah, so that this game has a a sport it's like a national sport it's called blitzball and it's like it's like water polo meets basketball i guess King hit from that fish. Oh my god. Imperial is more intuitive by design. How? How? How elemental silver? How? That doesn't... That doesn't compute to me. How is it more intuitive? Thank you, Connor. Yep. Let's get, uh... Wait, what's the trigger command? Open lock. No, I'm good. 
we can take this out in one hit. Um, oh, you got a retaliation? Okay. Don't you do it. You missed, dickhead. Inches and feet. Okay, that makes sense. How come that didn't work? Oh, it worked a lot. Okay, I got it. Minecraft perfect. What's up, dude? Long time, man. How you doing? Break knuckles. Um... Living the best you can. I think that's the theme of uh, of the year. Yes, I'm doing exactly the same. Oh, there's a chest. Shit, did I miss one? That's Avenger. What is that? Counterattack. What would be better? Ba I mean, Basilisk Steel has really done us proud up until now. We'll stick with that for now, but that's good that we've got that. Was there another one here? Did I miss one? Or is it further ahead? Should be a really good weapon for Waka. There it is. Super good. It's very peaceful. Nice little swim through the uh, the aqueduct. Should we be having fights? I guess not. Maybe after the boss, that's it. You just got to swim out. Uni! You're all right? We were so worried. It's good to have you back. <sighs> Thank you. Um, I... Uh, 
Uh. Ow. It's the dead guy and his dead friends. Enoch. Why you? I have saved him. <laughs> he was a man who craved power. And great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes. Chased by his fears, never knowing rest. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Death is a sweet slumber. All the pain of life is gently swept away. Ah, yes. So you see, if all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Zanarkand, the lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next Sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. You're totally nuts! <laughs> Unpleasant. Very well. I will give you your death. You seem to want it so. Hello, Ordinary. How you doing? Now that's a Seymour. Run! Protect Yuna! Go! No way! I'm fighting! I said go! Listen to Oren. Right. I'm good oh, without Kamar. Trust. It's fine. Yeah. You know what that means? He's he's served his purpose. Yuna, anywhere you go, I'll follow. Anywhere I go. Yeah. Anywhere. Well then. Let's, let's go. go. Hey Kamari! Leave some for us! Hey, wait for me! Me too! I'll go too. <laughs> I hate that like little <laughs> okay. Alright. What you got?
Are we going to get another skill here? We might actually. That's the thing, right? Like, how easy would it be to send someone? I assume it's very taxing physically and emotionally and mentally, but she, she'd still be able to just do it, right? Well, it depends on time, I guess. We get Reflect right now? Well, isn't that something? Reflect. It's, it just seems so eh, pointless right now. Like, what are we going to need that for? What do I do with it? Cast it on Seymour, right? If we put Bio on... I can't remember. can't remember. I'll figure it out. I know Bio helps a lot in this fight as well. Time to use Avenger. Yeah, he's got this little like drone, like a scorpion flying. It's a flying ghost scorpion dead thing, and it heals him. We'll figure it out. This shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Oh, we got fights along the way. Well, Eunice dead. Uh, how about some of that Phoenix down magic? Too bad. Wasted all my Phoenix Downs on uh, killing that last boss. Can you stop? Eight HP, that's enough. 
Use flash. It was not enough. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, uh, we've already got it, Kamari. I called you Kamari? Your name's Connor. I'm sorry, I will never, ever make that mistake again. that again this time not getting ambushed oh there's another save sphere here okay never mind we're fine What's up, Robert Headley? How you doing, man? Shit! Why would you default to that? See ya! I guess this is a good place. I'm glad they give you this little area. It's a good place to level if you haven't already. Do we make it to the sphere? Hell yeah, we do. Don't look so surprised, bro. Of course it's us. But the beard thing is unlikely, right? Huh? <laughs> it's a very high goal. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. start. Well, that's 10,000 damage. You're off working again, Darrett? No sweat. I don't know if if uh if 
4K. That's the move right there. That's the move we have to reflect. I think if we put reflect on Seymour, he can't do that. It's good songs, Fract. How are you, by the way? Yeah, Kamari, I don't know. What do you want to do? Self-destruct? Think that that would be good? I, m I might actually need you. Thrust kick. Day four's going well. I had a great sleep, so I'm feeling really good today. Yeah. All right, not bad, not bad. Got to watch out for that move. Um, I'm gonna do another one. What do we got? Mm. We're really close on Bahamut's overdrive, but he won't get it off. Um, could use her. Grand Summon, though. Yeah. When you shave your beard, you look like Elrond, so you tend to avoid doing it. <laughs> Fair. Death awaits you. Who's next? Let's get let's get our crew in there. We definitely want everyone to get some XP here. Shit, he's nearly toast. Uh, so we better get everyone quickly in there. Who's, who's had a turn? We still need three done, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, heal him up a bit. There you go. Bit rough. Bit rough on that one. get Titus to come in. Titus will cast Phoenix down. Walker switch out for Auron. Walker got a hit, right? I'm pretty sure he did. Switch you out for uni. I think we've still got an overdrive left. Yeah. You can attack the scorpion thing, and I think that affects the amount it's healing. We do have reflect. It's pointless, so I think we'll we'll win this quite easily. 
Not sure what's more effective here, though. That was, that was pretty effective. He looks so surprised. Huxley's beard with his little with his little chin hair. <laughs> we escaped with our skins intact, but Yuna lost something. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do or say something, anything. But nothing came. I was just as lost as she was. And then... Well? We're all clear. We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yuna? Said she wanted to be alone. Of course. Must be tough for Yuna. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to. I was talking to the save sphere. out where we're going. That is. Maybe you should. Can I? I feel kind of bad leaving. All right, that went exceptionally well. Um, let's equip Titus with. Basilisk steel. I'll be right back. I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me, with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. Maybe... You're trying too hard. They told me. Everything. Everything? Well, so then... You know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just... You know... All those things I said. Like... Let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. Yuna! Just don't do it! The pilgrimage? Uh, uh, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. 
forget all that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? Maybe I will. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He deserves it. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Mm. Hey, Xanarkin. Let's go to Xanarkin. Uh? uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, we can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. And then we could see Blitzball. That's right. Your Xanarkand Abes would play? Yeah. We could all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I'd cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem. Xanarkand never sleeps. Let's go to the sea, before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter till everything glows. Sparkling milk. Uh, too soon. It's really <laughs> pretty. I know you'd like it. Hey, shall we? Hey. Yeah. You saw it? I'd like to see it. Me. Someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. You. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I can't go. <laughs> Gameplay recording paused because you entered a block scene. Yuna. I play my OBS counter card. Music is uh
Why do I not remember this scene at all? Everyone blocks it out. <laughs> See, but now Titus has feels and even if I was with you, I could never forget. I'll go with you. Huh? I'm your guardian. Unless I'm fired. <laughs> Stay with me until the end, please. Not until the end. Always. <laughs> Reminds me of that one scene from, um, oh God, what was it? John Travolta. And I can never remember the the lady's name. Maybe you should head back to camp first. Phenomenon? Where Roger. he's like this he's got he's got some kind of superpower, he gets struck by like uh like a star or some shit. And he goes to her Love me for the rest of my life. He's on his deathbed or something. She goes, No. I'll love you for the rest of mine. Is there any loot here? I'll go with you. Love is the real loot. It's, it's fair. They're holding hands, they walk back, and everyone's just like, uh. Do you want to tell us what's going on? Everyone, we leave at dawn. And... I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And I'm... Um... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Good night. Sir. Where even are we? 
I don't have instructions for here, but we're headed to the calm lands, it seems, which makes me very, very happy. Hello, lady. There was a riot in Bavel. We can't go there. Not sure we want to head that way yet. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Where'd everyone else go south? Oh, here we go. Hey, Kentai, what's up, dude? How are you, man? This is the hunting place? Uh, that's part of it, yeah. I don't know if we can access that yet. I think that comes later. Mycologist, thank you very much. Eight months? How are you? Great to see you. Alright, this is my favorite zone in the entire game. It's also my most hated zone in the entire game. We'll get on to why later. The Calmlands. Long ago, the High Summoner spots in here. You can get the capture weapons the as soon as you speak to the guy. Ends here. They're expensive, no? Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. I've always known where to go. I... I won't let you die. I'll find a way, somehow. Let's go. I told Yuna I would find a way. I guess I wanted to believe that words could make it come true. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be here for a while, and I've left the chest behind already, so we need to go back. It's fine. But yes, you're right. The, uh, the monster capture is kind of our primary focus. Uh, at least for short term. Oh, Walker! What a machine! Slice and dice. Hell yeah.
You don't remember what the what monster capture is used for? Yuna's uh, celestial weapon, I think. I'm so glad we gave we got that weapon for Wapa. Wa Wapa? <laughs> for Wapa. Yes. <laughs> So this is interesting. Walker technically hasn't had a turn yet, but he's killed two two enemies and hit a third. Let's see if he gets XP from this. He does. Nope, there's a chocobo feather there. My map might be incorrect. Come on, Whopper, it's your turn. Oh, tough guy. Let's see you under pressure. Nice. Oh, should I be using ice? I keep thinking water is the opposite of fire. It ain't. Chocobo feather, right? Yeah. So, is there no chest here? Okay. Maybe I was incorrect. It's gonna be a lot of random encounters. The gamble shot. Um, there's status reels, and I think attack reels might be the one you're thinking of. It's like 9,999 times 9. It's up there. I don't think it's the best, though. Would you tell me a little bit about Perhaps the calm lands, like please? To know a bit about these plains. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. As you know, these plains were once a battlefield. 
A great battle between Bavel and Zanakan, the melee of Machina. That war left this place a barren, lifeless land. Then time passed. The summoners drew Right, once you get a bird, you can run around and... Land. Great battles could be fought here with no do harm all that. to the common folk. Perfect for a final battle with sin, as it were. Summoners wait here, ready to perform the final summoning. Ah, to know what they must feel. In any case, when sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Spira once more. That's why this place is now known as the Calm Lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. And that, as they say, is that. So we should probably go to... This guide says we start in the monster arena. Okay. There's some there's some badass monsters in that arena, right? Like we we're going to be in, How did Orin's health get so freaking low? Orin doesn't die. That's not him. That's not who he is. Come on, Kamari. Yeah, we should do it so that then we can do all the fights with the weapons. We'll give weapons to, uh, I guess, Titus and Waka. Or Titus and Orin, or Orin and Waka, or all three. You got poisoned, Lulu? Come on, man. Now, Kamari's dead? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, you gotta stop making those mistakes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> good fight. Very good fight. That's right. You can farm, farm them for... Yeah, some of the materials, that's right. Okay, we good now? Everyone good? Goodness me. on the edge of the cliff it's on the west right uh yep far uh west north corner what's the little there's a little hut over there as well Oh, it looks like Belgamine is there. We could go do that. What? Come 
Dark matter is nice in cola. What isn't nice in cola? That's that's the question. This one is mine. What was the guy coming towards us? What was that? No one say milk. I could have sworn there was there was more to that. And I don't think I accidentally skipped it. There he is. Okay, let's have a look. Offer fine wares at reasonable prices. Okay. Making a purchase before crossing the plains. Magic counter. Automed. Hmm. Hmm. We're starting to get some good stuff here. This for seven grand seems like a good deal. Might take that. Everything else I can do without, I guess. Maybe that? That could be really good as well. 25k though. Hmm. What do we feel about this? Magic counter. Could be good. It should do group magic as well, right? Milk and tequila? I'm sure there's some drinks with tequila in it. With and tequila and milk. Is that the song? Something, something with the tequila and the milk. 25k, that hurt. Alright. Have a safe and pleasant trip. Takes one step away, gets swamped by monsters. Cool. Thanks, dude. really really good I'm surprised it's as cheap as it was maybe because it's only a two slot and the slots are full all right so over to the east then I guess then we'll go fight Belgamine or we can do that on the way.
Is X2 incorporated in this? On the disc it is. It's uh, X and X2. But... Uh, uh, n no, we won't be playing that. That doesn't... It's not in the in the goal. <laughs> I think we're going to be here long enough as it is. I've never played the game. X2 or 10-2. No, never. Uh, we might as well do this first. Wrong person. I've heard it's all, it's like all about fashion, right? Like the outfits determine their power. Uh, just like real life. Did you like bravely default sparkling milk? That had like jobs and stuff like that. Hey, Elemental Silver, no judgment here. More power to you, so to speak. Am I on a ledge here? What is this? How do I get down? Just, just take a step, Titus. You can do it. Trust me. I thought Belgamine was right here. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, we'll check. If there's a shop here, we'll check it out. Um, I'm down to like 13 Phoenix Downs. Might get a few more, but I could have sworn Belgium Mina was right here as well. Yeah, we got to go all the way to the eastern wall. Father Zook. Long time no see. You are Yuna? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinox murderer. What you said? Wow. <clears throat> Let's fight then. Please tell us what has happened. Mr. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Mr. Kinox and fled. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. What of Bavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kinok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. Thank you, Father Zook, for your warning. Father, you came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see... this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. 
Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. Got any weapons? Ah, uh, there's the barbecue sword. Um, nah, these are basic. We don't want these. He said we're supposed to kill you on sight. He's not going to. He's just going to sort of stir those fires a little bit, you know? Uh, I could have sworn, though. Are they over here somewhere? Can you buy the outfit? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you can't. Ah, yes, there is a random battle here. That's the one I was looking for. Ah oh, no, I've, I've I've got thirteen. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We gotta head head east. Gotta go there first. All right. So, how do I kill these cats? What are they? Casts drain and blaster when low on HP. Attack. Is that immune to what? Immune to stone? Petrify? Maybe. Yeah. Magic counter. Good. Works just fine. Lancet? I don't think they can learn black magic. I mean, maybe. Uh, let's have a look. Time to waste, he says. To the east. Do we go up and around, or hmm, I don't know.
Lulu tends to her damage comparable to monsters late game tends to taper off a little bit, right? She seems like weaker late game. I could be wrong about that. Is that the little gap right there? Maybe. Does this thing counter? I can't remember. Good ton of HP though. Now it counters. Here we go. This is a training area that Lord Meehan constructed for the Crusaders. You can hone your battle skills here by fighting fiends gathered from all over Spira. But the fiends all got away because I uh, screwed up. I'm too old to gather fiends now. I'm in quite a fix. That's where you come in, Sonny. Can I ask you to round up all the fiends for me? Of course, I'm not asking you to do it for free. There'll be a nice fat reward. On top of that, you can hone your fighting skills anytime against the fiends you bring back here. In addition, any items you win during training are yours to keep for free, but it would be a small fee for each training session, so bear that in mind. How about it? Not a bad deal. You won't regret it. Aaron, no? Where, where would I see this thing? Ms. Queeb did not tell me. Oh, wait. The dog? You got a dog? I need a good tracking dog. Um, so if I can borrow him for the next X number of hours, we gotta, we gotta go round up some fiends. In Discord? Alright, I have to have a look. <gasps> oh my god, look at its face!
Oh my god, it's so cute. You did good. You did good, kid. That is dope. Has Miss Queep seen it? Oh, right on. Okay. Do you have a few stray cats around? Interesting, okay. Oh wow. I'll I'll go and make sure she if she if she's uh looking at Discord, I'll go make sure. Weapon customizing unlocked? Yes. Um, we need to buy four slot weapons. Probably a bunch of them, so I'm going to save my cash. Hyper Stifer X, how are you, dude? Thank you very much for the gifted sub. Welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a great day, man. Feeling really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's just the calm lands, huh? Boy, oh boy. And we need, what, ten of each? Got it. You can put capture on it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, give me a sec, folks. Let me go talk to Miss Quick real quick.
how many hours until the next nap? Um, I mean, there's six hours left on the clock for the subathon. I mean, that may increase, obviously. Forgive your l lurk, hyper. No, you're good, dude. Don't you even worry about it. Okay, so. Doom and other insta-kill abilities work. Got it. But you have to hit them. It's a physical hit, right? Like, no magic can do it. It's not like, um... You can say, hey, capture this enemy and then you zap them with, uh... Um, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, right, so we've got nine and we need, what, ten of each? Just from the calm lands. Well, we're here. Might as well. It'll take a little while. Uh, now let's go look for Belgamine, I guess. I swear she was over there somewhere. Alright, and let's get the flan too. And the robot, okay. Oh, you captured done? That's one skull. Only uh, 89 captures to go. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Booyah! Mech Scouter cannot be captured. Right, so no robots. It, it doesn't have that much HP. Um, and the great news is that we're going to level up a lot. Especially these three. They're going to get a lot stronger. So we'll be speeding this up eventually as well. Yeah, look in this corner. Is it Pokemon now? It is. Yes. Unofficial Nintendo channel. The only way to go is forward. Always has been. Bottom right, you can access the place with the chocobo. Oh, okay. Bottom right, really? Huh. How do the naps factor into the time? Should they be? How long have I slept for? a day. So sick of this freaking timer. Um, one second, chat.
Okay. So that's the... That's it. That's the last time I'm going to... Modify it. Edit it. Why is Yuna here? Can you imagine if Yuna took him out with four hits? Yeah. Alright, that's two flans, I think? Flan? They say flan in America, I don't know why we would say flan in Australia. It's all good. It's all good. There's there's no guidebook for how we do this. I'm kind of winging it as we go, so <laughs> um, that's fine. I'm 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 happy. I'm good. Um, I'm not going to stress about it. That's the last thing I want to do. Sorry to offend, Miss Queeb, please. <laughs> I don't think you've ever offended me in my entire life. It's as much your channel as it is mine, if I'm being honest. You only have to capture one of each to reopen? Oh, you don't need the ten? Okay. So we need the cats then. Um, there's got to be some more difficult stuff that we need. Got it. Cool. Thank you. Where do we buy four slot equipment from? That's on an airship somewhere, right? Maybe the airship once we get it back. No turning back now, yeah? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, Walker, yeah. This is very dangerous. Southwest from the save sphere, okay. Break you out. Have a great night, my friend. God, I hope this works with uh, the weapons. I screwed it. I didn't get it. I think he does. Elemental, yeah, I think he does. Big hits, though. Can we do like a silence?
sleep. And here's where we kill each other. Can Kamari learn it? It's worth a shot. Six thousand. Swap in free sooner, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Hello, dragon. How are you? Have you played Resident Evil 8? I know you're a Resident Evil fan. Will the subathon re be recorded and posted on VOD? So here's the thing. YouTube only accepts 12-hour uploads. I am recording in MKV, so I should be able to easily split them into thirds. I just guess we'll do eight-hour uploads, um, potentially. Yeah, I'll figure that out. Um, yeah, it's, that's, if I have to re-render and I can't just split the files, hopefully with MKVs you can, it's gonna, it's gonna be like days and days of rendering. I might just set up an old computer or something just to do that. Anyway, anyway, um, should we kill this thing? He doesn't have delay attack, does he? No, he does not. We gotta we gotta get that for him eventually. Oh shit, he's still Damn it. Well just wait, my dude, just wait. Enough. Got him. Razmataz. What the hell is that? <laughs> cool name. Silence and dark, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, let's go find Belgamine. We'll do that real quick. Might as well save since we just captured the big the big daddy if you put petrify on it it's the only sword you need till end game
you can change weapons, yes, but um, it takes a turn to do it. So you're better off, you know, keeping keeping on at what you need beforehand, if you know what's coming up. Enough. That's how it's done. What do I need for Petrify Elemental? Yeah, it's got an extra slot. It's probably 99 of something. Oh, I need you. I'm guessing if we dark him and he retaliates, does he miss? Nope. Thought that might be the case. Farewell. Got him. 60 petrified grenades. Okay. It's not too bad, I don't think. Depending on the difficulty of farming them. Bad breath on pick up on Kamari. He can learn it, silly idea? Oh shit, okay. Enemy steal. The monolith, Zorus, Yaoi, Anacondor, Cave, Igwid, Igwion. Basilisk, Raptor, Rhine, okay. You already picked it up? Are you sure? It didn't say he learned it though, right? Uh, yeah, we did. Very cool. I thought I didn't see the text pop up. Missed it. There you are. Not silence. Oh, anything but that. Coerl.
No time to waste. Let's go. Two cats. Oh, you again. You're quite the notorious trader these days. What's it to you? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't take what the Maester say too seriously. For summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? Yes. So, are you up to the task? I do not know, but I will do my best. You've got spirit, but you'll need more to beat Sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. Hmm. Excellent. But before we begin... Loot or die, how are you, my dude? What's going I on, man? I just healed your Aeons for you. Let us begin. Shiva, huh? Okay. Okay. Choose your Aeon well, Summoner. Day four, yes. Yep. It was still, still going here. These numbers seem very low. That'll give her diamond dust if I pull that off now, yeah? Let's not. Let's not. We're okay. What is this? Summon summoning for kids? Come on. I mean, Diamond Dust would have wiped me out, so... And no, it didn't seem to add anything to her gauge. Okay, this is, this is a weird tutorial fight, apparently.
I got Null Frost. I'm gonna cast that in the next time I can. Thirty thousand to forty thousand. This is gonna be a long fight then. Oh no! Don't don't hit me with ice. Anything but that. I don't want to use it just yet, just in case. Now I can. We'll try Meteor Strike next. It's it's not so much the amount of damage Meteor Strike would do, it's the number of turns that they get afterwards. There we go, we're done. just fine but if you ever feel like you want more training seek the hidden temple of remium i will be waiting there farewell it's very true accursed very true raise stats on the aeons so now we can yeah we can make them stronger Got it, and they're not cheap. Stifer X, yeah, he's now a he's now a bird. Chris is a bird now. Is there anything I should particularly go for with some of the Aeons, like, to make them more efficient use, I guess, of our items? Um, might as well go get the Albed Primer, which is somewhere up here. Ah! Good day, chaps. Yes, I will need one of you. Hmm. How many crests and sigils? Uh, we got no sigils, two crests, I think. Chet Maddox, what's up, my dude? How are you, man? Love the emotes, they're cool. Petrify Grenade. How 
much HP do these guys have? And a condor. Did I lance up them yet? No, I did not. So he didn't necessarily learn anything, I don't think. I can't silence that, can I? The petrify move. Maybe I can. Let's try. Oh, well, you're captured, buddy. You got, you got snagged. Delay attack is way too powerful, and having it on two characters is pretty dope. Did he get captured? I don't know that he got captured. Hmm. Let's level up a little. These spheres are burning a hole in my pocket. Six black magic spheres, nice. 14 level 1 keys? Oh my god, I should start using them. Level 2, 7, and I do have a level 4 as well. Two level fours to what is that in there? Full break. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Nice. Wait, what is that then? Extract power, yeah, whatever.
Wait, has he made it all the way back through Oren already? That's it? Shit, okay. Dude, you absolute legend. Alright, we're going into Walker territory then. Best way to get there, down here. Yeah. Based on Orin, nice. So he has to get this one MP and then go south from here. And then that gives him cheer. And then he's heading into Walker territory also. It's It seems very compact. Like all of the different sections are, are all together. HP ma magic defense on the way to Let's Riku. No. Later. I'd love to get some of the dark magic stuff on her. Be good. Oh, Kamari. Protect? I think he's already got shell. Kimari's a mess. It's, I think it's his weapon. Or, or, I don't know. His attacks just don't seem very effective. Um, yeah. Yeah, never been a huge fan of Kamari. Like, I like, I like him as a, as a person. Bear. Cat.
I mean, we might as well. Might as well fight it, right? Gonna get a move off now. Oh no, maybe not. Here we go. Yeah, it's about fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred per. Not bad. We can get Walker delay attack too. Be nice. Wouldn't even have to cast haste then. I wonder if slow works on him. He's probably immune. Yeah. way too powerful the ease at which we took out that flying dragon um before uh before the wedding scene was all right that's two of those i'm just here for the book chicken nothing to see See if we're missing any. I know, uh, was it eight and nine or nine and ten are missing, but we can go back for those later. Twenty-three, so twenty-four, five, and six. We need, so we'll we'll come across them. And it's 9 and 10. Okay. Can't wait to speak our bed, man. Another one. Oh, cheer would be good. I think if you can successfully kill one without taking any damage... Oh, there's something I didn't think about. Um, like, you should be able to, uh, like, simulate the fight. 
ether. We'll buy some of those next time we're at a at a store. Yeah, that's three. Soundless scream. Sounds dope. Yeah, actually, I was planning on crossing this place on foot. Do we want this now? Would let us go and get uh, a couple of things. Death strike we get 65 plane wind we is a reward for getting all nine monsters uh some monsters only appear, appear at the albed trading post others can be fought in the northwest region which which where we are hmm why does it say we were captured? We, we're carrying special uh, weapons at the moment that let us capture monsters. It's weird that we can fit something the size of a house in our pocket, but there you go. Let's do it. Oh crap, we have to do a... M the train one first it's simple it'll run whichever way it feels like press left and right to steer it keep an eye on the clock yeah This is just straight up RNG. Not by much. chicken the worst and this is the easiest one god that music that drum beat in the background just <sighs> trying to think about it Oh, come on.
I wish I could give control over to chat and it could be like chat controls Chocobo racing in Final Fantasy X so Queeb doesn't lose his freaking mind. Be here the rest of the year. Someone had programmed a bot. You, you know it. Um. Can I get? First of all, who's this for? Lulu, right? Titus. Yeah, shit. It's supposed to weave in and out, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, not bad. Just. <laughs> Where did they come from? It's Walker. Walker's hiding behind a, a hill somewhere. No, you get one specific item. Let me see. Uh, FFX, Chocobo, Race. Cheat. It's the first search result. With a time of zero zero. Yeah, it's for Titus. Pretty good time. Kamari's butterflies. This is the one, isn't it? This is it? Yeah. Pretty good? Oh, come on! We got some balloons.
That's not the... That's not the thing. Wait, what, what time do we need to get there? Eat all the birds and dodge all the balloons. Thirteen balloons. The balloons are the hard part. Good start. Not. One. Two. One hit. Two. Three. Two hit. Okay, so we're done. anyone knows a cheat, I'm not averse to that. Hello, spectator. How are you, by the way? Shadows under the balloon, so you know where to stand, yeah. Yeah, alright, so we're gonna leave this for now, because I don't want to punch anything. Why'd they have to make it that hard, though? Don't give up! Someday you'll hold the record. Quit. <laughs> um. Post game content? I mean, yeah, but still, that it doesn't. 
It doesn't change anything about the game, right? That's where the that's where the sigil is, if I'm not mistaken, right? You got zero once and told it wasn't good enough? Oh, the fury. <laughs> Bowl of Bryce? I like your name. Sin tore the earth. Uh, didn't Frieza do something similar? So we could continue on. No, we should really... So what are we missing? How do we even know? We go talk to this dude, I guess. Actually, before we do that, we'll go back up where the chocobo feather was. Ah, here we go. Five grand. Ten grand. Not gonna lie, I got really excited when we got it first go, and I thought, that's it? We did it? <laughs> I did the thing? No, Queeb, you didn't do the thing. Did that just jump down? Hilarious. Oh no, this is different. Fight the guys near the entry. Oh shit, isn't there another one of these things here? Another race? We'll come back here. Did we hire Durin to Blitz? No. Is Durin one of the ones we need? I haven't, I haven't started hiring a team yet. That's the three sisters. All right. Yeah, if you know someone that we need, if we're nearby, just shout them out. Um, I was going to try to get Nim Nimrook, but apparently Keeper is actually really, really good. Can only be hired now. Okay. And where do I find him? If not hired, he dies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. The man's... Only calling in life was Blitzball. And it's because of us. We, we... Uh, no, we haven't gotten these guys.
But eventually he becomes the worst Blitzball player in the game. Gee, you, you really sold it there. Yeah. I'm, I'm good, thanks. What was the other option? Oh, that's right, he dies. Mm. Really tough decision. Somebody sent me a guide. Can you please stop picking on my dude here? God, these guys have so much HP too. Here we go. Two of those. At the gorge bottom. Green helm, armor, and white pants. Narrow path. Gorge bottom. Oh, on the next screen? The next screen is a cave, right? Wait, isn't this where we get Yojimbo? Rusty Sword, which becomes uh, Oren's weapon. Zanuck and okay. Alright. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, one step at a time. Alright, Domal, thank you, man. Can't be too many more we need, right? Definitely we haven't gotten nine yet though. Two hundred thousand gold. I got it. What's the, there's a, there's a certain dialogue selection you need to say. Battle jabs. Thank you very much for the gifted sub, dude. Cheers, man.
kill the strongest monsters. Then haggling, that's right. Here from TikTok, your efforts are seen and admired. Thank you very much, man. That's very kind of you to say. I I gotta say, TikTok, tic, the TikTok people I've met have been very very nice. It's good people. More cats. like six of those we've gotten now, I think. Yuna was your childhood crush? Cute. So what am I missing? I need I need a guide just for catching monsters. Why am I do this? How are you doing, man? Welcome on in. Yeah, I got two hundred thousand. I haven't gone crazy with the spending. Let's see. Let's see what the list is here. Uh, monster catching FFX guide. Skull. Nibiros flame flan. Shred. Shred is something we haven't gotten. Anaconda, yes. Ogre, yes. Coerl, yes. Marlboro, yes. Chimera Brain, yes. So I think Shred is the only one we haven't gotten. Shred, Shred, FFX. Shred location. Oh, that's the tanky guy. Shit, maybe maybe we've got him. Maybe we're done. Let's check it out. Are we going for 100%? Gonna try to. Yeah. 
depends on uh depends on a lot of a lot of things but yeah well, i would like to racing chocobos is not my forte we'll see Yeah, we did it. The Thunder Plains. Everybody's worried about the Thunder Plains. We're going to be fine. Do we want to try to do the first fight for free? Yeah, go on. It's just a strong version of that, yeah? We don't have to catch these. Oh! <laughs> Just a little bit strong. Okay. Okay. I get it. Funny joke. Shit. <laughs> um... Thank you, monkey no lawn, monkey lawn gnome. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to come back, I would say. He's dead. It's a good try, dude. It's a good try. You, you put in the work. And that's game. Okay. Not up to scratch. Yes. Good job. Idiot. All right, let's head over and uh, maybe pick up a Yojimbo or two, huh? Need a bit of leveling? Almost, almost there. So that chest is the sigil, right? How do we open that? Is that the... That's the ten of each from here? That wouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Celestial mirror. Mm -hmm. This stream's bussin'. I've never seen that word typed out. I've heard it plenty uh, via TikTok. Hello, Corbett. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, look out. Water Summons Patrol. Lord Seymour. Come with us. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. How is Seymour still alive? Yeah, Again. So out of our way. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. I warn you. 
The Maester doesn't need you alive. Unit does have our overdrive. Um, I can't even remember this this fight at all. Defender X, huh? Immune. All right. Steal its brains. Mm, probably doesn't work with this, I'd say. This won't work either. Waka no! Hey Cypok, how are you man? Um... Sure delay attack wouldn't work either. Let's make Waka not dead. You know what? This is fine. Sixty four thousand health. Armor break? I don't even have that, I don't think. Ooh. Who has armor break? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have it, hey. Water? Probably want to start casting like protect. Um, can you do me a favor and stop dying? No, I definitely don't have. Um, I definitely don't have that break yet. That's it.
He'd take out any Aeons as well. Real quick. Yeah, power break was uh, didn't work. if that works. We can get one Aeon with an Overdrive, which means we get to use it once. Um, it's fine. I don't mind. It probably means he gets a couple of turns on the other end of that, though. No, nah, I don't think these are any good. I haven't tried delay attack, so let's bring Titus back in. Yeah, no, none of my... They're all... They're all expired. Put in Kamari. I think we. I don't think it did anything, right? I don't know. I remember. Demi didn't work. Haven't tried. Probably won't. Yeah. Riku's grenade might work. We've got a mix up. It'd be good. Blind him, you think? There's no point in really healing. I mean, other than maybe Auron. Getting haste on would be good. Maybe slow might work on him. We're doing pathetic damage, though. We need, we need something.
Like water? Mm, I'm not so sure. And he retaliates with every every attack. Um Hello, why am I doing it? Thank you very much for your resub, man. Yeah, I don't think any of that works. Um, okay, that's fine. You know what? I'll figure something out. They've still got their capture weapons too, I didn't even think about it. Probably doesn't matter too much in this fight though. Placid Pacifist, thank you very much for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. And a wonderful day. Week. Weekend. And Peel, you're here as well? Hello. Yeah, we are, we are screwed here. 
<laughs> oh shit. She can't take a hit here. It's going to be one shot. Can't even dodge it. I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. We need armor break. Lenny the Goatman. One thing I forgot was when I was sleeping. I'm not streaming, technically. So they, uh, they convinced me to add the time. Yeah, I mean, I got plenty of ethers. Do I? Shit, no, I haven't even bought that many ethers. Uh, of course, ain't gonna last very long. Okay, let's let's maybe wipe it. I think that's possibly the best thing we can do. The only one that's... Valifor might be able to avoid an attack. And punch. Damn, I completely forgot about this fight too. Yeah, let's wipe it. Mental Prey does work on this guy. We don't have it, though. But now I'm curious because I've... I've been all through Oren's zone. And I haven't once seen it. Unless it's off a sidetrack somewhere, but... No, immune to darkness. There's no, there's no weakness to this guy, except his armor. Yeah, we'll check it out, Accursed One. Right near the start. I thought it was more advanced than that, but... So it's, it's all good. I'll figure it out. I think I have some teleport spheres as well.
the hell? It's Riku. Yuna. Lulu. Titus. Yuna. Come on, man. I gotta look this up. Advanced sphere grid. Uh, armor break. Armor break is southeast of full break on a path between Sloga and mental break near the science silence buster cluster west of the ra spells where are they there it is nowhere freaking near him we would have if we were on the normal grid we would have got it by now for sure so we need to get full break then instead which we need what two uh level four keys for nowhere near anyone To level four and a level three. We've only got one level four. Another option is um, getting Yuna, summoning the Aeons, and just letting them, like, learning them, get them close to their uh, ultimates, and then do that instead. What is it, 64,000 HP? We don't have enough Aeons to do that. If we didn't cross into Titus territory? Right. Right, right, right. That we did. So where is he now? He's heading down... We'll get him to flee south. Into Walker territory. It's it's nah, no way. It's way down here. Uh, which one was it? This one? No. There it is. Like, that is... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to use... Use the Aeons for that. If we get him to backtrack... We could get him to backtrack all the way that's not too many levels to get back there what is it four every time you do that take him right down here Sloga, unlock that, and then it's just a few more. Well, okay. Or we can try the Aeons. I mean, either way, we're going to have to farm a little bit. 
Damn. That's freaking brutal, man. All of them. Oh, oh he's going to die. Um, it's fine. Noise dismiss. Good news is it shouldn't take too long to do this at the very least. And Yuna has a grand summon. I just need to keep them all alive now. Oh yeah, I could have just healed him. You're right. Oh, that's right. We don't have Fyra. Use Provoke? Just Provoke to him. Uh, who has that? Oren has it, right? Same silly idea. Yep. That's the plan. No time to waste. None whatsoever. I'm just better off going back in here. make a difference which capture weapon which weapons are used i guess the as on titus and walker we do have uh what what are they called uh, counter and walker has evade and counter i have no idea if that would work 
Weapons that give strength. Stats like strength and defense and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We, I mean, we might get lucky with these, but uh, who knows? Bahamut and Shiva. Yeah, we could. I just th I just don't know what stats to to buff when it comes to them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If I null blaze this, does it stop me getting overdrive or do I need to take the damage? Hey, Mageman. 15 hours of work? Dude. Grab yourself a nice beverage.
Yeah, that is rough, dude. Yeah, if you if you know what stats I should boost on whatever to make it way more powerful, I guess with Bahamut probably be the best too. Maybe Bahamut. Oh, Shiva doesn't have limit break yet. So. If she ever gets that, I'm not even sure. I need your Jimbo, goddammit. Just boost all stats. How do I even do this here? I guess I'd do a boost. See what happens. Grand Summon. I think everybody's maxed now. Yup. We don't really have many good moves other than Riku's. Maybe Grenade Throw. I don't know. Eh, whatever. GG. Keeping my health above zero. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. That's that's where I'm going wrong. Um. Is there another alternative here? That's all break, isn't it? Full break. We just go for that. Two level fours. I don't think I've got it. one where's the level four key key sphere that we can easily get or what does that drop from i mean it's one of the one of the more rare items obviously I got three ethers, six elixirs, one, sorry, three mega elixirs. All right, well. Leave him for now. Why is Titus backtracking? Where's he going? Mega bosses, mega omega ruins. You're right. Yeah. We're going this way. 
And he's right there too. Man. Depend on unit stats as well. Mm -hmm. Bribe the Chimera Brain to get level 4 key spheres. Really? How much do I need to throw at it? I don't even know if I have bribe yet. Two hundred thousand? You mean the exact same amount I need to? Mm -hmm. Let's hope this works. Let's hope this works. Piercing we don't have. Okay, so that'll be a good start. Nemesis? No, Nemesis is one of the final ones, isn't it? Defense 5 or HP 10? Sensor might be helpful, although I think we it doesn't have any weaknesses anyway, so nope, no piercing on that. It's fine. All right. Give it another shot, huh? Halt! Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with. We have nothing to. Yeah, so out of. Lord Seymour is come. I warn you. Oh, I 
it's just a little rock rock robot rock monster robot Start with the big open, I guess. Is there an item that can resurrect your summons mid-battle? There's not, right? You need to go to a save sphere. Um, I should be, I should be doing something here. Um, Hopefully. Does guarding count as a move? I can't actually remember. That does though. It's always time to shine. in someone else. We haven't done much with others. Uh, Riku? Riku gonna steal. Speaking of snakes, were we speaking of snakes? I don't know.
Oh, him so long. This is Huxley. Yeah, his hair's gone. Probably about three feet on this guy, I think. He's 34 inches long at the moment. His dad is about three and a half feet and his mom's four and a half. Thank you for the visit. Requesting a high five of McQueeb that I can do. With you. Here you go. High five. Speaking of Huxley, here he comes. Huxley's in my game. Yeah, he's a giant fire monster. Casually challenged day four today, yes. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. It's another 10k. Does he get to stay alive? No. Uh, he did something. Who did not? Walker? Bags under my eyes beg to differ.
I'm an old man now. She doesn't need her overdrive since they'll all be dead. So this will be another 10k. Maybe. <laughs> okay so i guess we're back to this now let's start with uh i wonder if Oren shooting star Twelve K left. That was three. Three. Damn. Um, that's fine. That's about nine, nine, nine and a half left. Um, Doesn't Kamari have haste? No, no, no. Oren does. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> the smackdown is just hilarious. Attack! Okay, that's better. Piercing. Nice. That means we might actually bring Kamari back. Um, he's the only one that won with piercing. Um... Good. Nice. Fifty six hundred. I I messed it up. How did I mess that up? No, I still did 1500, sorry. Countered, baby! It's 
bring uni back. Get, just leave. You're not welcome on this party anymore. It's like the easiest fight in the game. No sweat. Riku did something, right? Make extra sure. Should be it. I'm going to save now. I'm not even going to take the risk here. Hang on a sec. Hang on. It is Blee, yes. I just need... I need to know how much to give him and like the totals and, and when we bite her, what to say to him, etc. Uh, we can go down, correct? Or is that where we go later afterwards? I think that's where we go later. This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? But that way leads down into the valley, so... In we go. This is a very tough... Cave system. It's also very good for leveling. And if we really want to, we could use, uh, we could capture some stuff here as well. Oh, down is your Jimbo? Should we get him first? Sometimes Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why. Ronso Mountain. Ah. She was saying goodbye to the places she'd never see again. All right, we don't want to go there yet. Okie doke. So, what's the what's the uh, the elemental effect in here, if any? What's the worst? Oh, there is... Oh, what are the, the the Grim Reaper things in here, right? Death proof. Do we have anything with... That's going to be important. Yeah, nope. Not yet. We might get some, though.
Yeah, this is tough. Tough place. RN, what's up, dude? Great to see you, man. Playthrough's going all right, I guess. Standard stuff. We just beat another boss very easily, very convincingly. Didn't need to restart or, you know, cheese my aeons at all. It's very it's a piece of cake. Chilling at work? Right on, dude. Hey. I believe that's the best thing we've found so far. All right. Is there? Yes, there is. So there's a primer in here. Number 25. And is this the guy that we need to recruit so he doesn't die because he goes off to war or some shit? Where'd he go? It's literally right here. Thing's a dick. There we go. Epage. To get Yojimbo for the cheapest price, the player must offer him half of the guilt he is asking plus one in the first two negotiations and will decrease his price both times. In the third negotiation, they must offer him 0.7 times the gil he's asking, closing the deal. To get your Jimbo, player should select the third. We'll ask for 250k. The player will offer 125,000. Your Jimbo will counter and the player should offer 112. Counter off with 202,500 and the player should offer 141,751. Yojimbo will then give his final price of 190,350, which the player can accept. Cool. Um, excuse me, Lude Tenant, thank you very much. 20 gifted subs. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Uh, just adding a ton of time to the timer. Absolute legend. Thank you, man. Well, 
Well, the good news is we have enough. Chilling before bed. I like it. I like it. I do the same thing when I'm not doing this. Where are we? Put, it, put on a bit of twitch, you know? The faith is inside. As are the fiends. <gasps> hey, this where... Hmm. Where? What? The summoner I guarded on my first pilgrimage. <laughs> it, it's like that I though, Mejiman. Like seriously, when I'm not broadcasting, I put Twitch on. Um, if I'm working, if I'm editing, not all the time when I'm editing because go. my brain gets a bit the screwy. But yeah, some the streamers I watch, they're just great to have on in the background. It's cool. The likelihood of Zanmato. Oh, really, a cursed one. So, not necessarily for the cheapest. What are the other options? If that's not true. Option three, to, to defeat the most powerful of enemies is the most endgame friendly behavior. Zanmato. Yojimbo will summon a blade from the depths of hell itself and cleave all thine enemies in twain. It doesn't deal damage, it doesn't inflict status effects, it just ends them. Additional effects of Zanmato may include disbelief of the player in what just happened, or spontaneous outbursts of, what in the f was that? <laughs> no, it doesn't really have anything, it's got compatibility, motivation, Zanmato level, overdrive, and a random effect. Option three is twice as good as option one and does not require you to pump 100% of your money into one strike. Choice one with all money is better only for fiend level one to three. It is much worse for four to six arena bosses and like. Uh, and considering you didn't need it for killing trash. Choice three is still the much better choice. Okay, that's confirmed it then. Thank you, Lieutenant. Appreciate you, man. And thanks again for the, uh, the very generous gift. All right, so we're going to go in here. Oh, this is a maze as well, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. This is the, the magic eye thing, right? How does this work? It's 
like a random effect or, or if you attack it, something happens. Don't attack the same eye twice, okay? Wrong. Well, we'll have to figure that one out. You steal from it. We have to capture it still, right? Cavern of the Stolen Faith, my ass. Cool, this is gonna be fun. This is good, though. Take that. That's three captured. Alright, dope. That's good. Tonbury's <laughs> Tonbury scared the hell out of me. Gotcha, near dog. I just defend, I just defend it. Good thing I defend. Uh, Walker, can you do a little bit more damage, please? I'll reflect. Okay, not that one. Was the poison that hit? I thought reflect was magic only. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh boy. The good thing is once you've once you've leveled up a little bit, it gets a little bit easier. And you do level quite quite dramatically in this one. Mari time. Nope. Got it. Thank you guys.
come on. What is going on here? There we go. One dark element done. Easy. I may need that. <laughs> Um, isn't there a save sphere in here? God, I hope so. <laughs> What's a faith doing in a place like this? Don't ask me. They say it was stolen from a temple long ago. Huh? With no faith, summoners cannot train. Without training, they cannot call the final Aeon. Without the final Aeon, they cannot defeat Sin. That is why. Cause then the summoner won't die. Mm. That must be what the thief was thinking. Uh, I kinda agree with him. Uh, we're also going to need to level Yuna and her Aeons again. Oh god, not these things as well. Sleep and darkness. On everybody? Yeah. Jesus. Maybe we'll save capturing these guys for once I've leveled a bit. Maybe? <laughs> Alright, spectator, no problem. Take it easy. God, every hit, too. Okay. Kamari, um, 
Do you have a sooner? You do. Oh my god. Oh, really? A cursed one? I didn't know that. I'll take it. It's fine by me. Gosh, what a horrible fight. Yeah, we need to be doing significantly more damage so we can take them out quickly. You know, you know how it is. Once each one's won 600 battles, they max out. 600 each? No sweat. Easy. Be strong. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I can heal. Ah, but I only have fire. Is that enough? Was that like 700? I think that's alright. Yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. This is a separate one. Slightly stronger, yeah? Did the other one have 27k? I can't remember. Oh, this is the same one? Okay. Hmm. Look at him. He's watching everyone run away. He's like, where are you going?
there is... Am I wrong? Have we missed a another save spear? There has to be another one in here, right? good thing about this is that he's not using uh, Confuse or Bad Breath, whatever. Shouldn't ever dismiss your Jimbo either. He doesn't like that so much. if after summoning okay that's cool so the only one I probably can't level in one go here is Balafor I think he'll get I think he'll get beat a very good strat.
4,000. Oh, you had to kill it. You had to crit on the last hit. I was going to capture it. It's fine. Don't mind me. He fell asleep. No. Oh. It's a good kid. Kamari, you're out of juice too. Oh my god. That's it here? No, nah, there's more here, surely. I don't have a map, do I? Nope. Legit, just want to find a save, save point. Um, you know, yes, yes. My luck's going to run out sooner or later, for sure. Save point. I see it. I see it. We'll come back there. The encounters are, are too quick. Have some in the soul, we do. Yep. Ah, feels good, man. All right. Um, been live since. I don't even remember. Um, I'm going to go take a very quick break, stretch my legs. I encourage you all to do the same as well. And uh, we'll be right back. Won't be long, chat. 